Chapter 1961 1961 After waking up, when Long Chen thought about what happened, he was sure that the whole sacrifice plot had been designed by Len Yuian. Her goal had been that pillar, and cutting that pillar required the energy of the corrupt god. However, the energy of the corrupt god would only descend during the sacrificial ceremony. Although he didn't know Len Yuian's whole plan, Long Chen knew that Len Yuian had possessed some methods to interrupt the ceremony and absorb the energy on her own. She had been fully prepared, and he had just barged his way in, throwing his life away. When he looked back at it, he felt it to be a cold joke. But I like your foolishness. Len Yuian hugged Long Chen from behind, resting her face against his back. I really do like you, and I know you like me. It's nice that someone in this world is willing to face life and death with me. Do you know? You really helped me out this time. You saved me a trump card, and this trump card will decide whether or not I can survive my next tribulation. Really? Novaloon.com CM Len Yuian walked out from behind him, facing him and wrapping her arms around his neck. Of course it's true. Upon facing Len Yuian, Long Chen's heartbeat quickened, taking a deep breath. He tried to calm himself down, but when he saw her perfect face, as well as a certain gorge too deep to see the bottom, he couldn't stop his heart from pounding. Am I beautiful teased Len Yuian. Very beautiful. Long Chen instinctively spat this out. Len Yuian suddenly blushed. That was a rare sight. You're a scoundrel. You know, I was always looking for a reliable mountain in this world that could change my fate. I went through many people with great potential. I always started hunting them down, making them quicken their cultivation speed so they could survive, but none of them could ever keep up with my footsteps. They all died to my sword, proving that they weren't my prince. But when I encountered you, I had a feeling that you would be the only one capable of saving me. I started to hunt you down, but you are an absolute fool. You actually started cultivating with a group of people. Just how much were you slowed down dragging them up with you? I told you that you were slowing yourself down, but you refused to listen. I don't know when it started, but I started to look after you more and more, and eventually I found I could no longer view you as just my savior. Then in the spirit world, I attacked you, trying to kill you, and you actually had mercy on me. Tell me, don't you think you're a fool? Len Yuian began to cry, but she continued, you foolish scoundrel, you made me love you. How could I continue to use you? I released you, even preparing to repay you for your two favors to sever our ties with each other. But, just as I made my determination to face my fate alone, you appeared again. What are you trying to do to me? You're a scoundrel. If you need help, just tell me. Wouldn't it be nice to face it together? Long Chen gently wiped away her tears. He knew that Len Yuian's origins were mysterious. Whatever she was facing. It was definitely beyond his imagination, but he was willing to share her burden. Len Yuian shook her head. You have too many burdens already, affecting your cultivation. You can't help me. Let's not talk about such a heavy topic. In any case, I've pretty much finished my preparations. Once it comes, I'll have a battle to the death with it. It? What is it? You don't need to ask. I've already made my arrangements. With the evil dragon essence soul and the totem of faith energy, I'm 80% confident in suppressing it, said Len Yuian. Seeing that Len Yuian refused to say, Long Chen could only drop it. He understood her character. It was very difficult to change the things that she had decided on. Long Chen, would you like me to dance for you? Len Yuian suddenly looked at Long Chen with a faint blush. A dance? That'd be great. Long Chen clapped. It was hard for him to imagine that the cold-blooded and merciless devil empress would actually dance for someone. Len Yuian smiled and really began to lightly dance. Long Chen felt his heart rising up his throat. Len Yuian's body was perfect in every way. Just standing there, she was beautiful enough to make a person forget how to breathe. As she danced, Long Chen felt dazzled. He felt like he was no longer in control of his body. As Len Yuian danced. She began to undo her robes. Her arms revealed themselves and then her feet. Next, a belt came undone and a thin lower garment. Her long legs revealed themselves, possessing great charm. This was a dance that could take a person's life. Although there was no music, 
just the sight of her was enough to make a person's heart burst. This is the corrupt path's heavenly devil dance. A woman will only dance it when she marries the man she loves. I was taught it when I was very young, but anyone who has seen me dance, whether man or woman, has already been killed by me. Len Yuan walked gracefully over to Long Chen. With a flick of her finger, her last piece of cloth also fell. In that instant, Long Chen's heart stopped beating. A beautiful scene was laid bare to him. Although he had bathed with Men Chi once, he still felt lightheaded seeing Len Yuan like this. She didn't have the slightest bashfulness. All of her was laid bare to Long Chen, front and back. She was like the goddess of beauty, yet also like a demoness who could take people's lives with just her charm. Long Chen gulped. He suspected that he was in a dream. In this dream, he didn't even dare to move as he was afraid of waking up. Len Yuan walked even closer to Long Chen. Her arms wrapped around his neck. Her eyes were like gemstones, staring into his eyes. Long Chen's hot blood was surging, and he was no longer able to hold back. He grabbed her tender waist, and that feeling made his head buzz. He went to kiss her lips. Boom. However, he had just moved when he felt a sharp pain on his shoulders. Len Yuan's hands had slammed into him, sending him flying back into the stone wall behind him. They were currently in a cave. It was unknown what energy was supporting the walls. But Long Chen was racked with pain upon smashing into the wall. While it wasn't damaged in the slightest. You what are you doing? Raged Long Chen. Why did this girl go hostile so fast? You are my man. But I didn't say that I am your woman. Have you forgotten? In this world, no one can subdue me. I, Len Yuan, am the one who subdues others. Len Yuan appeared devilishly beautiful. Her eyes twinkling and her hair flowing gently. Fuck. Is there even such a thing as who submits to who in this kind of matter? Demanded Long Chen angrily. Of course. I'm taking the initiative. So I'm subduing you. Len Yuan suddenly appeared in front of Long Chen. Her hand reaching for Long Chen's chest. Long Chen instinctively tried to dodge. But he was one step too slow. Long Chen's robes were torn apart by Len Yuan. At the same time, five spots of blood appeared on Long Chen's chest. Fuck. Let's see who subdues who. Long Chen was angry now. He smashed a fist at Len Yuan. Len Yuan hadn't used her heavenly Tao energy. While he didn't summon his divine ring or battle armor. Len Yuan's hand nimbly pushed aside Long Chen's fist. Not only did she manage to do that. But her hand also tore off his sleeve. Long Chen repeatedly punched. But Len Yuan's hand arts were too bizarre. Her hands were like spirits and Long Chen was quickly down to just his underwear. Long Chen was finally starting to panic. Evil Moon, come out and help. Can you have some face? She's not using a weapon. Evil Moon merely gave him one lazy reply before going silent, not answering his summons. Finally, Len Yuan grabbed him by the arm and slammed him into the wall. His last comrade, his underwear, died in battle, fully exposing him. Give up. You'll become my man with great dignity, said Len Yuan looking at him like an empress. I'm unwilling to hit you or injure you, but don't force me, shouted Long Chen as he covered himself. Give it up. I have a barrier set up here. Your speed, your power, your senses, they're all suppressed. You can't beat me, so be obedient. I'll be very gentle. Len Yuan smiled bewitchingly. No wonder Long Chen had felt Len Yuan to be so powerful all of a sudden. It wasn't that she had become stronger, but rather he had become weaker. Len Yuan suddenly pounced. Other than that bath with Men Chi, Long Chen had never been naked in front of anyone since his childhood. He had no way to fight. In just several moves, he was pressed down to the ground by Len Yuan. I won't let you have it as you please, Long Chen shouted, as a man. Even if he was facing a woman he loved, he wouldn't accept such a method. Long Chen focused himself, suppressing the flames of desire within him. Len Yuan smiled faintly. She pressed a hand against Long Chen's chest, and his expression instantly changed. The flames of desire he had just suppressed instantly erupted, even fiercer than before. Long Chen, you are fated to be my man. Resistance is useless. Len Yuan slowly descended. Hey. Wait, I know a much better way we can do this idea, that hurts. What the hell? A sharp burst of pain interrupted Long Chen. 
it was different from that ecstatic feeling mentioned in legends. This is the only way to make things fair. If I hurt, you hurt. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called subduing. Len Yuyan's voice was still calm, but it was shuddering as she also became lost in the feeling. Very quickly, the sound of deep breaths and a voice like immortal music began to ring out like the sound of birds and bees. However, for Long Chen, there were more pained groans and angry howls. After an unknown period, Long Chen felt exhausted to death and lost consciousness. He felt like his bones were about to collapse. When he woke up again, he not only felt a fiery pain down below, but there were also quite a few blood stains. As for Len Yuyan, she had vanished. He couldn't help grinding his teeth. Fuck. She definitely did that on purpose. It hurt. How had that been the legendary coupling between men and women? It had been more like torture. Len Yuyan had tormented him for six hours, and Long Chen had been unable to beat her or resist. That woman's a crazy monster. How did I end up so unlucky? Long Chen hatefully spat on the ground. Instead of properly enjoying it, she had tormented him. Her head definitely wasn't normal. There was no way to reason with such a person. The only way to talk reason with her was to suppress her and return all the things she had tormented him back to her. Was it everything you dreamed of? Evil Moon's wicked laughter rang out. Fuck off. Long Chen was angered. This bastard actually came out at such a time to throw stones at him. Cursing someone is a display of powerlessness and a show of no upbringing. Long Chen, you've fallen, said Evil Moon, intentionally putting on a regretful tone. Long Chen ignored it and looked around the cave. It was a round cave only a few hundred meters wide. There was only one small exit. He thought about it for a short moment before he started to get to work. He began to dig and bury several long chains into the ground. What? Are you laying a trap? exclaimed Evil Moon with surprise. Shut up. Long Chen found it difficult to dig into this ground. It was like the ground was a divine item, and even a divine item barely left any marks on the ground. This was the result of Len Yuyan's formation. Long Chen took out the fragment of the eastern wasteland bell and cut through the ground like tofu with it, feeling delighted. After that, he began to bury his chains, working for several hours before finishing. Fortunately, during this time, Len Yuyan never appeared. Actually, since Len Yuyan is gone, can't you just leave? Is it interesting to waste your time like this? Not getting vengeance isn't the style of a man, said Long Chen angrily. Wasn't it just a question of who took the passive position? What's the big deal about it? Let me tell you, that Len Yuyan's origins are very frightening shut up. If you wanted to help me, you should have helped back then. Since you don't want to help, I'll handle it myself, snorted Long Chen. That had been his legendary first time which had been stolen away. Worst of all, Len Yuyan hadn't cherished it at all. Although it had also been her first time. How was it fair that if she hurt, he should also hurt? Len Yuyan's desire to conquer others was very strong. However, it was also strong in Long Chen. This enmity had to be avenged. As a result, Long Chen waited for three days. Finally, on the third day, Len Yuyan returned. However, today, she was not wearing the normal red robes she wore but an imperial dress. Her hair was tied up in a high bun instead of falling naturally. Today. Len Yuyan appeared even more majestic, more noble, and more aloof than usual. Len Yuyan was startled upon seeing Long Chen. Before she could speak, Long Chen pulled on a chain in his hand. Len Yuyan was instantly bound by the chains he had arranged. Meanwhile, Long Chen immediately pounced, knocking her down. Today, if I don't make you grab the railings and bite the sheets, I won't be called Long Chen, he roared. He tore at her clothes. Don't think changing clothes is enough for me to forget that enmity. Chapter 1962 1962 Long Chen pulled but actually didn't manage to tear her clothes. That surprised him. Even armor made out of divine items wasn't able to block him like this. Long Chen couldn't help being further enraged. Alright, so you actually prepared some moves as well. You dare to blaspheme me? Die. Len Yuyan's beautiful face turned ice cold. Suddenly. A divine mark lit up on her forehead, and her divine power erupted like a volcano. As light bloomed from her robes, Long Chen felt an immense force try to blow him back. 
the chains binding Len Yuai and blew apart, and Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood. Fuck, what about when you blasphemed me? Victory or defeat would be decided here. If he couldn't win here, he would lose any further chance. With a roar, he wrapped his legs around her waist and locked his arms around her neck, refusing to let go. Light erupted from every part of Len Yuian, and a terrifying light in particular came from her eyes. An invisible aura unfurled. However, just as Len Yuian was about to unleash her divine power, the cave shook intensely. Runes appeared along the walls, and a dragon roar could be heard. The might of an evil dragon and the energy of the corrupt god. Len Yuian's expression changed slightly. The entire cave shook as countless runes appeared, suppressing her power. As for Long Chen, he was holding on to her tightly. The two of them rolled on the ground. Suddenly, Len Yuian opened her mouth, and a ray of light shot out. In that instant, all of Long Chen's hair stood on end. A sensation of death enveloped him. He instinctively turned his head. That ray of light shot right past his head, cutting through the cave and piercing the clouds. The entire world shook. Fuck, you want to kill me, raged Long Chen. Seeing Len Yuian open her mouth again, he clamped a hand over her mouth. His divine ring materialized, his five-star battle armor activated, and even dragon scales appeared on his body. Boom. The world shook. Long Chen was truly angry now. Last time, he hadn't even used any big moves, but now Len Yuian wanted to kill him. Those who blaspheme me spend an eternity in purgatory. They are skinned, their souls burned, never reincarnating. Len Yuian's eyes blazed with light, and some faint runes appeared. She began to chant something. Long Chen suddenly felt his body weaken as though his life energy faded away. It was some kind of power that surpassed the heavenly deos, like an irresistible curse. Long Chen felt like he had dropped into an iceberg. It's death energy. Evil Moon suddenly let out a shout, actually flying out of Long Chen's spiritual space to attack Len Yuian's head. Boom. Evil Moon and Long Chen were both sent flying. Len Yuian's gaze was icy. Killing intent surged within her, and she suddenly appeared in front of Long Chen, grabbing his neck. The end of life, the peak of death. Using my name as Nithurgut, I cast you to the purgatory. Suffer the eight torments. Long Chen felt himself grow weaker and weaker. It was like Len Yuian was a god of death, stripping him of his life. Scram. Suddenly. A burst of energy came from the primal chaos space as though it had been provoked. A burst of energy erupted out of Long Chen. Len Yuian's expression changed, and she was sent flying by that burst of energy. She crashed into the wall, causing the cave to shake. Long Chen pounced on her once more. It was unknown where he got the energy, but this time, when he grabbed her dress, he managed to tear it off, revealing her body. Once her dress was torn, it actually transformed into runes that dissipated into the air. Her clothes had actually been condensed of some law. Long Chen grabbed the stunned Len Yuian and threw her to the ground. She tried to resist, but she suddenly found that there was some terrifying divine power coming from Long Chen that suppressed her. If you dare to blaspheme me, fuck your blaspheme. Didn't you say that you're the only one allowed to subdue others? Today, I'll be the one subduing you, Long Chen roared. Len Yuian struggled intensely. Divine runes appeared in her eyes, but they would always crumble as soon as they appeared. You will regret this, shouted Len Yuian. I've never done anything that I regret. Long Chen ignored her threats. He would return all the pain that she had given him. After two hours, Long Chen was still working hard when he suddenly sensed someone else walk in. That person was the red-robed Len Yuian. Len Yuian held her bone sword in her right hand and an ancient formation disc in her left. There was a small pillar on the formation disc. It was actually the pillar that she had cut off from the corrupt god's altar, but much smaller. When she walked in, she gasped. The formation disc fell from her hand, and she covered her mouth, filled with disbelief. Long Chen also became dumbfounded. He glanced from the shocked Len Yuian to the other Len Yuian who looked like she wanted to kill him. Long Chen hastily jumped away, rapidly putting on his clothes. He looked at the Len Yuian that had just walked in. Is she your twin or something? Long Chen's voice shuddered, and he felt a chill. It seemed he had just done something terrible. If it really was her sister, would Len Yuian immediately kill him? However, 
the two of them were truly alike. Even each of their eyebrows was identical. The other Len Yuian was filled with furious killing intent. She waved her hand, and runes condensed into her original dress. Ah, about that. My sincerest apologies. Long Chen awkwardly apologized to the Len Yuian in the imperial dress. Shut up, you, immortal. Dared to blaspheme me? I will make sure you suffer eternally within purgatory, shouted that Len Yuian. Suddenly, Len Yuian began to laugh delightedly. She was laughing so hard that she was shaking. Long Chen retreated slightly, holding Evil Moon and secretly storing up energy. Len Yuian was someone who could become hostile at the drop of a hat. He had to defend against her suddenly attacking him. Even now, he didn't know what was going on. You betrayed me. The Len Yuian in the dress coldly looked at the other Len Yuian. No, I didn't betray you. You are the one who wants to destroy me. I'm just resisting. My birth, my life was all planned by you. Ever since the death of my sister Nian Rao, I knew that my parents, my sister, they were all part of the fate that you arranged. You want me to hate this world, but to tell the truth, the only thing I hate is you. You used the death of my sister Nian Rao to awaken my killing intent, and then made me brush against death several times. But it was always you. Although I don't know why you did this, you failed. I am not your chess piece. I am not your tool. I am someone with blood, flesh, and soul. I have someone I love. However, your luck is very good. My man actually used you. How does it taste? Len Yuian smiled like a little devil. Shut up. The other Len Yuian glared at her, her whole body shuddering with killing intent. Ah, I forgot. My man was just broken in and doesn't have much experience. It seems he didn't do a good job. How about you let him gain some more experience before coming to find you again? Laughed Len Yuian. The other Len Yuian suddenly smashed her palm forward. While Len Yuian slashed her bone sword out. The sharp bone sword cleanly sliced through her palm. Blood slowly dripped down. However, when the blood dripped into the ground, it transformed into divine runes, which then merged back into heaven and earth. A faint divine pressure caused space to rumble. This is, the blood of a god. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. Legend was that the blood of gods could not exist in this mortal world. I remember now. Your, Long Chen suddenly recalled that when he had undergone his tribulation in the Zhuangshan Dao sect's Devil Abyss. He had once seen someone who looked identical to Len Yuian. You shut up. That Len Yuian glared at Long Chen with immense hatred. She didn't even want to hear his voice. Long Chen, look at how angry this big sister is. Shouldn't you apologize to her? Len Yuian looked at Long Chen and smiled warmly. Ah, big sister, I'm truly sorry. I mistook you for someone else. I know that a simple apology cannot appease your anger. So, how about this? You can subdue me once just like she did, and I promise not to resist. Long Chen raised a hand as he swore. Fuck off. The Len Yuian wearing a dress looked like flames were about to ear up from her eyes. Long Chen could only shrug, not daring to say anything. Today had been too strange, and he still didn't know who this other Len Yuian was, or what her connection was to the Len Yuian that he knew. Chapter 1963 1963 That's where you're wrong. Long Chen is my man, so he's your man too. Why shout and quarrel with your own people? If you think about it, Long Chen is my man, but then you became his woman. I should be the one angry, said Len Yuian with a faint smile. Len Yuian, so you know that you were me and I was you? Then why did you harm me like this? He's immortal. Do you realize this affects my divine root rage the other Len Yuian? Why would I harm you? Do you not know? Didn't you precisely come here in order to kill me? I'm no longer under your control. Is it painful being hurt by me? When you killed my father, my mother, and my sister Nian Rao, did you think about my pain? Len Yuian sneered. There is a certain phrase on the martial heaven continent. Man proposes. God disposes. But even gods aren't omnipotent. How is it? Having your own bone slice your hand. Does it hurt? The other Len Yuian's hand was still pressed against the bone sword. The bone sword had actually connected with her palm. They had temporarily merged, and she couldn't pull back. I laid down this trap with the evil dragon essence soul and a totem with the corrupt god's faith energy. 
I thought that you would just send one of your clones, but you actually sent your true body. No wonder none of the alarm systems I set up managed to sense you, but due to that, you actually ended up falling into my man's hands. How interesting. Your divine mark has also been damaged. It seems my man is quite good. Len Yuian smiled upon seeing the divine rune on the other Len Yuian's forehead had dimmed. I didn't come to kill you. Len Yuian shook her head. Even if you didn't come to kill me, you came to arrange me as a chess piece. But I'm not going to be your chess piece. You are me. I am you. There are no chess pieces between us. I am just a strand of your divine will. I am the clone. While you're the true body, you wouldn't create me for no reason. And you wouldn't come here for no reason. I am just a chess piece for you to achieve your goals. Then what do you want? What do you think? I want to take the dominating position. I'll succeed the position of the true body. You want to refine me. The other Len Yuian laughed furiously. My original plan was to kill your clone and devour it to strengthen myself. I thought that was pretty brazen already. But I didn't think that there would be someone even more brazen than me. So I'm thinking of going a bit crazy as well. Do we really need to fight to this extent? I don't want to destroy you. This is fate. Len Yuian's bone sword suddenly lit up. The hand it was piercing began to turn to stone. The stone crept up her arm. The other Len Yuian suddenly tore off her right arm. However, this time, there was no blood. Her arm instantly regrew. She slammed her two palms together, and Black Chi surged out. Her dress instantly became black, and she became a manifestation of death. With a wave of her hand, a black bridge appeared. A divine pressure came from that bridge. Boom. Len Yuian's sword shattered the bridge. She smiled. I'm familiar with your abilities. This place is the Martial Heaven continent, not your world. You would probably have had to split yourself into at least 10 million clones before your true body could sneak through the barrier of this world. Now your divine root has been damaged, and your power has sharply dropped. As for me, I have the evil dragon essence soul and the corrupt god's energy. You're the one who will be defeated today. Len Yuian's bone sword sliced through the air. However, the other Len Yuian also took out a bone sword. The two began an intense battle. When their two bone swords clashed, a wave of sword chi shot out. Long Chen hastily dodged. That sword chi cut the cave in two. The cave exploded, and Long Chen saw that they were in a barren wasteland. Up in the sky, a black dragon image appeared. Behind it was a giant totem from which divine light sprinkled down. Fuck, that's my essence soul, roared Evil Moon. However, that essence soul was no longer truly there. Len Yuian had used some method to transform it into a part of some grand formation. The dragon essence soul combined with the energy of the totem, creating a giant domain. HMPH. These two energies can't last for long. Once they're exhausted, you'll lose. They'll be enough to handle you. Len Yuian's manifestation suddenly surged, and a figure identical to her appeared, a bone sword in its hand. Len Yuian's attack power sword. She was so powerful that she forced back the other Len Yuian repeatedly. The void rumbled. Tribulation clouds condensed in the sky. And the Len Yuian wearing a black dress suddenly looked up with fear. It seems luck is standing on my side. Your aura has been sensed by the heavenly deos. This is a godless world. You have broken that order. And will definitely die. Heavenly might descended from the sky. The divine rune on the other Len Yuian's forehead lit up once more. A ray of light soared out of her sword. The world changed color. The laws of the world crumbled before it. Long Chen was in the distance. But he felt like he was going to be sliced apart. Are you going all out now? Len Yuian suddenly gripped her sword with both hands. The dragon and totem images behind her suddenly exploded. And all their energy was absorbed by her. Boom. Long Chen was blown into the distance by the shock waves of this attack. He almost coughed up blood. As for the two Len Yuians, they were both knocked back, coughing up blood. Their auras were sharply dropping. Long Chen, stop her, shouted Len Yuian suddenly. Almost instinctively, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon at the other Len Yuian. Boom. That Len Yuian coughed up blood. The previous exchange had heavily injured her. Her divine mark had vanished. She was on her last legs. Long Chen pressed his saber against her neck. She didn't say anything. 
She just coldly stared at him. Long Chen, kill her, shouted Len Yuan. Long Chen looked at the other Len Yuan. He knew that he should kill her, but he wasn't able to make himself do that. The sky rumbled. The heavenly punishment would fall at any moment. Even if he didn't kill her, she would die to that law. In the end, Long Chen sighed and pulled back Evil Moon. Go. That Len Yuan was surprised, but she coldly snorted. I won't feel any gratitude to you for this. You blasphemed me. I will still make you suffer an eternal hell in purgatory. Up to you. Long Chen shook his head. That Len Yuan stepped back and sliced the air with her bone sword. The void was torn apart. She glanced back at Long Chen before stepping into that crack, vanishing. Once she was gone, the heavenly might that was gathering in the sky faded, having lost its target. This heavenly might was something that even Long Chen didn't dare to provoke. It was heavenly punishment designed for gods. Bastard, why did you release her? Len Yuan walked over, furious. She was pale and tottering, looking like she might collapse. Long Chen reached out to support her, but she pushed him aside. Clearly, she was truly angry. Long Chen couldn't say anything. Finally, Len Yuan sighed. Sorry, I shouldn't get angry with you. Len Yuan was actually apologizing? That greatly surprised him. Len Yuan shook her head. I was too greedy. I thought that she would just send a clone, but she sent her true body. Now her true body is heavily injured. That's a huge chance for me. I shouldn't be greedy. Long Chen, I know you're a good person. Your character will never change, although you're sometimes an idiot. But I like this foolishness of yours. Len Yuan caressed Long Chen's cheek. Fine, since you didn't kill her, I'll have to do it. Otherwise, she'll come after me once she's healed, and I won't be able to stop her. Goodbye, my man. If I manage to survive, I promise that next time, I'll let you subdue me. A rare gentle expression appeared on Len Yuan's face. She wrapped her arms around Long Chen's neck and gave him a kiss on the face. She then sliced her bone sword through the air. Stepping into the void and vanishing. Chapter 1964. 1964 The two Len Yuans had vanished, and Long Chen looked at the swirling sand and dust around him, feeling like he was dreaming. She left just like that. This was Long Chen's first time feeling like this. He felt lost and empty. Long Chen, I might not have admired anyone else in my lifetime, but you I admire. You even managed to get involved with a god. Amazing. Praised Evil Moon. Did you know it from the start? Raged Long Chen. Cough. To tell the truth, I only had some suspicions. I was never able to confirm anything, but there was nothing I could do. Some things can't be randomly spoken about, or the one bearing this karma would be you, said Evil Moon hastily. Long Chen snorted, not believing that excuse. He felt that Evil Moon was becoming more of a conner as time passed, although it followed him through life and death. Sometimes it was just a huge conman. Long Chen looked up at the sky and then at his own hands. What? Are you pondering over that feeling? Snickered Evil Moon. Scram. After saying that, Long Chen also laughed. However, that laughter was a bit bitter as he felt something that was hard to describe. This experience was beyond belief. Thereafter, Long Chen began flying through the air and found that he was in the northwestern part of the central Xuan region. In that battle in the heavenly evil cave, he had used up all his power. He had to admit that his true combat power had been surpassed by Ziluo. The Life Star Realm was a huge barrier in front of him. He had even used up everything and hadn't managed to kill Ziluo. Although he was able to fight across realms and even slay Nether Passage experts, those Nether Passage experts were just rank 9 Celestials. Empyreans had only appeared in their generation. So even though he was able to kill Nether Passage experts, he couldn't slay a Life Star Empyrean on this level. That was the difference between realms. He had to quickly catch up. Furthermore, through this fight, his realm had stabilized once more. He possessed the qualifications to attack the Life Star Realm. He hopped into a flying boat, going toward the Eastern Xuan region. He spent several days flying, using that time to prepare to attack the Life Star Realm. When he once more descended upon the eastern Xuan city, he caused chaos. Last time, he had killed his way out, but now he had come again. He was actually ignoring the threat that Pill Valley and the others posed him. 
This was arrogance. This was domineering. Long Chen directly walked into the Huaian pavilion. On the way, he had already sent a message to the Huaian sect that he wanted to talk with Zheng Wenlong. Brother Long, you grow more amazing with each passing day. You even dared to charge into the heavenly evil cave. I really don't know what to say, said Zheng Wenlong. Long Chen was startled. The battle inside the heavenly evil cave was definitely not public information. It was suppressed by the corrupt path. But despite Zi Wenchen's information lockdown, Zheng Wenlong still knew of it. Amazing. Long Chen praised Zheng Wenlong. He knew that the corrupt path definitely had people that the Huaian sect had bribed. For the Huaian sect to be able to do such a thing in a place where only the most fervent of the corrupt path's followers were allowed. Perhaps only Pill Valley possessed the same ability. How is the continent state currently? Asked Long Chen. It's still the same, and they're using the same moves. However, there have been several large battles with the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. They have taken some heavy losses. With Heavenly Fate Island's help, seven of their strongholds have been destroyed by the Xuan beasts. Long Chen's teacup shattered. Good. Very good. Long Chen's voice was filled with icy killing intent. Unable to target him, they actually turned toward others. Brother Wenlong, help me release news that three days from now, I, Long Chen, will be paying a visit to Heavenly Fate Island. Have them wash their necks for me. Other than that, welcome the other major powers to come watch. Tell them not to miss this chance. Because in three days, Heavenly Fate Island will no longer exist. Long Chen smiled. But that smile was chilling. Zheng Wenlong gulped. He could guess what Long Chen was about to do. A shocking piece of news quickly resounded throughout the Martial Heaven continent. What? Long Chen is challenging Heavenly Fate Island by himself? Is he mad? If it wasn't the Huaian sect spreading this news, I'd really think it was just a wild rumor. Just what is he thinking? Challenging the entire world by himself. Perhaps he found some powerful backer and he couldn't wait for revenge. Long Chen's challenge toward Heavenly Fate Island shook the continent. Just what kind of figure was Long Chen? He was a figure of miracles. He was the creator of the number one legion, a legend with countless worshippers amongst the junior generation, a figure that was imitated but never surpassed. The most widespread saying was that Long Chen never said any empty words. And after investigating his history, this saying had been confirmed. As long as he dared to say it, he would dare to do it. If these words were coming from someone else, they would assume it was just an attempt at intimidation or mental warfare. But for Long Chen to say it shook countless sects. Long Chen's finally angry. He's going to strike back as he would rather break than bend. There's going to be an unprecedented bloody battle soon. Many people guessed that Long Chen had already advanced to the Life Star Realm. It had been three months since he had vanished. For him to suddenly come back, he would definitely bring the Dragonblood Legion with him. The Dragonblood Legion was filled with monsters who fought across realms as easy as eating. They were equivalent to over 10,000 Nether Passage experts. Just how terrifying was that? However, some people also scoffed at this challenge. Did Long Chen think that all geniuses in this world were in the Dragonblood Legion? What about the countless experts and geniuses of the sects? True immortal Jiaoki, Ziluo, Difang, they were peak heavenly geniuses. They represented the greatest force of their respective powers. Moreover, the various powers had only sent a portion of their powers into the yin yang world. They had all held a few geniuses back. The foundations of the major powers of the continent were too great to estimate. Many people thought that Long Chen was simply courting death. If he went to Heavenly Fate Island, then even without the Nether Passage experts interfering, just the monsters of the junior generation would be able to trample the Dragonblood Legion. After all, the strongest person in the Dragonblood Legion was just Long Chen. If an expert on true immortal Jiaoki's level charged into the Dragonblood Legion, they wouldn't be able to stop him. In any case, Long Chen's challenge had shaken the continent. The attention of the entire continent concentrated on Heavenly Fate Island. Heavenly Fate Island quickly responded to this news. The general meaning was that Long Chen had finally revealed his cowardly head, and that if he had continued to hide, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would have been destroyed because of him. 
Long Chen's supporters were enraged at that reply. Heavenly Fate Island was absolutely shameless. It was clearly a conflict between the Xuan Beasts and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, but they had interfered and then blamed Long Chen. At the same time, Heavenly Fate Island released word that anyone from any power could come to Heavenly Fate Island to watch how they would uphold justice for the continent and remove a scourge from this world. Hopefully, the justice warriors of the world wouldn't miss this chance to make their name known. Heavenly Fate Island wasn't just openly allowing people to help but they were encouraging the prideful geniuses to come and target Long Chen. This was their chance to defeat the strongest junior generation expert of the continent. They would only have this one chance. If they missed it, they would never have another chance. Long Chen's name had eclipsed the other geniuses of the continent. This should have been an era where many heavenly geniuses competed with each other. But after true immortal Jiaoki, Huo Lian, and Zi Luo had joined hands and still failed to defeat Long Chen. They had solidified his position as the number one expert. Although Len Yuian had appeared in the end and interrupted their attacks, it didn't change the fact that Long Chen hadn't been defeated by them. Ever since Long Chen had been expelled by the Martial Heaven Alliance, the entire continent had grown uneasy. However, this news caused countless experts that had been hiding in their sects to fly toward Heavenly Fate Island. They were going to bear witness to this fight. Heavenly Fate Island was a mysterious existence. It wasn't an island surrounded by water but a floating island. It was a gigantic island measured in millions of miles. It floated in the central Xuan region's southern domain. It was one of the continent's four great wonders. No one knew how it floated there. Most of the time, Heavenly Fate Island's experts stayed in seclusion and rarely interacted with the rest of the world. But during the next three days, they were extremely lively, with experts arriving with each passing day. Heavenly Fate Island's disciples greeted the newcomers. They were extremely courteous to those that came from Pill Valley, the ancient races, the corrupt path, the Xuan beasts, the ancient family alliance, and those allied powers. But to the other experts, they turned up their noses. They had clearly received orders and were doing that on purpose. Long Chen. Today, I, true immortal Jiaoki, will personally cut off your head. The void rumbled, and a giant war chariot pulled by a nine-color celestial horse arrived. Chapter 1965 1965 True Immortal Jiaoki arrived, appearing as overbearing as ever. However, when he walked off his war chariot, everyone couldn't help being stunned. The fifth vestige of life star? How did he advance so quickly? Just three months ago. When true immortal Jiaoki had fought Hu Fang, he had just broken through to the second heaven stage of life star, but now he was at the fifth heaven stage. The rumors say that he refined his race's only drop of kill in essence blood. Perhaps the growth of his cultivation base is related to that. Then doesn't that mean that the Kill and Drake race has bet their entire future on him? Probably. Not only that, I heard true immortal Jiaoki managed to fully awaken his manifestation. There's no way to estimate his power any longer. Countless figures on Heavenly Fate Island were staring up in shock at true immortal Jiaoki. The people permitted to come here were either geniuses or people on the level of sect masters. They were all at the Life Star Realm, with even Nether Passage experts amongst the seniors. These seniors couldn't help feeling that they were past their prime. They had once been figures that had led their generation. When they were young. They were the ones creating waves on the continent. But now, they saw their disciples advance to the Life Star Realm at such a young age. They had no choice but to admit that this era was not their playing field. They had been reduced to spectators. Monsters like True Immortal Jiaoki in particular were so powerful that they made them feel despair. Even the old monsters that had been living for countless years had to retreat in front of him. The change in eras meant that they had to accept their age. True Immortal Jiaoki was extremely arrogant, and he directly entered Heavenly Fate Island with his Killin War Chariot. He had only just arrived when another group of people came. They weren't as overbearing as True Immortal Jiaoki, but they also raised waves. It's Ziluo the Righteous Path's experts retreated with fear. The leader of this group was Ziluo, and there was a skeletal mark on his forehead, where the skeleton's eyes were supposed to be. There were two flickering ghost flames. Just looking at them caused sharp pain in people's souls. 
They suddenly realized that their Yuan spirits had been injured just by looking at them. Besides Yi Luo were the other peak geniuses of the corrupt path. Of the three corrupt kings, Ji Yuai Yan was present. And while Miang Ji Ye had been killed, he was now replaced by a short man who looked like a child. That one's Yan Wei. Supposedly, he was rivals with Miang Ji Ye. And while they were mostly evenly matched, Miang Ji Ye had a more powerful background. So his status was greater than Yan Wei. Quite a few righteous experts gathered in front of Heavenly Fate Island. Heavenly Fate Island had done this on purpose, saying that they were busy arranging things inside and having the righteous experts wait outside. However, the experts from the other factions were allowed to enter. When people questioned them over this, their reply was that they hadn't expected so many people from the righteous path to come. There were only so many seats, and they were currently expanding things. However, no one believed this excuse. Heavenly Fate Island was clearly intent on giving them a show of power. Ziluo didn't say a word and walked into Heavenly Fate Island. He was much more Loki than true immortal Jiaoki. Ji Yuai Yan and Yan Wei also didn't say anything. Their gazes swept through the righteous path's experts, and their silent disdain was the greatest insult. Fuck, who do they think they are? Didn't they still have the crap beat out of them by senior apprentice brother Long Chen? Someone spat on the ground. Suddenly, the world rumbled. A giant flame sphere shot over like a meteorite, making everyone jump. That flame sphere was covered in divine runes. Its power was horrifying. Get out of the way. It's a paragon art. However, the flame sphere began to slow down, eventually dissipating and revealing a man wrapped in flames. Huo Lian. Startled cries rang out. It was actually Huo Lian, whose physical body had been destroyed by Long Chen. With his physical body destroyed, he had been cast aside from the rankings of the peak heavenly geniuses. No one had expected him to have recovered. No, that isn't a physical body. His body is made of flame runes. Someone suddenly noticed that his body wasn't wrapped in flames. It was made of flames. He actually replaced his physical body with a flame body? He looks even more terrifying than before Huo Lian's flame fluctuations were so powerful that even Nether Passage experts felt afraid. If Huo Lian were to go all out, just how terrifying would he be? Huo Lian glanced at the crowd. People were shocked to see that he no longer had pupils. Instead, there were two flame runes. The current Huo Lian was no longer even human. He was a humanoid flame monstrosity. Anyone related to Long Chen, listen well. After I kill Long Chen, I'll exterminate all your sects. Huo Lian coldly looked over the crowd. His voice was not the voice of a human. It had a metallic grinding sound to it. That's purely bragging. I refuse to believe it. A disdainful voice rang out. A cloaked man appeared with a bow on his back. Mo Nian. Everyone instantly recognized this person. On the Martial Heaven continent, only Mo Nian liked to wear a cloak that covered the upper part of his face. Just looking at his chin, many people might mistakenly think that whoever was inside was a fatty. But once he took off his cloak they would find that he wasn't actually fat. It was just some leftover baby fat. Mo Nian lazily pulled off his cloak, revealing his handsome face. This was one of his signature moves, but to be considerate to someone. He didn't use his signature slogan. TSK TSK. Young people shouldn't be so fiery all the time. Don't carelessly end up burning yourself to cinders. Said Mo Nian. He looked curiously at Huo Lian's new body. Huo Lian roared and suddenly smashed a fist at Mo Nian. Flame energy condensed into a giant fist of flames. He's also reached the fifth heaven stage of life star. People immediately sensed his realm and couldn't help being shocked. Mo Nian snorted and his bow twanged. Space distorted, and Huo Lian's attack actually vanished within that twisted space. This is spatial energy. How is that possible? The Nether Passage experts let out startled cries. That was no ordinary magical art. It was a kind of law, something that even Nether Passage experts had only just managed to touch upon. How could Mo Nian possibly use such a profound power? Heaven and Earth Lock. After resolving Huo Lian's attack, Mo Nian took out a formation disc. The power of a dozen divine items suddenly erupted. 
the formation disk transformed into runic chains that were connected to a dozen divine items. Those divine items lit up, but all their light was absorbed by the chains. In the end, the divine items crumbled away, becoming nothing more than scrap iron. The divine items were crippled, but the runic chains blazed with light. They pierced toward Huo Lian. Huo Lian had prepared another attack after having his first attack failed. This new attack struck the runic chains and disappeared. Meanwhile, the chains enveloped Huo Lian, binding him. It's bad for your body to be so fiery. Let me help cool you off. Just as Huo Lian was chained, Mo Nian shockingly pulled down his pants, and a stream of urine fell toward Huo Lian. He, everyone's jaws dropped. They were dumbfounded. What was Mo Nian doing? He was a peak genius. Someone on the same level of fame as Long Chen. He would actually piss on someone? Some of the female cultivators hastily turned away, not daring to look. Mo Nian was too shameless to even do such a thing. Huo Lian's body was made of flames. The heat coming from him instantly vaporized his urine. Ah, brother, your flames are too strong. I can't help. Mo Nian was unable to extinguish Huo Lian's flames. Mo Nian, I will tear you into a million pieces. Huo Lian roared, and the chains binding him exploded. Even though he had sacrificed a dozen divine items, those runic chains could only hold him for a second. However, Mo Nian was also quite amazing to finish peeing in just a second. A normal person definitely couldn't do that. Die. Huo Lian's flame energy erupted and a sea of flames filled the surrounding space. He was about to attack when he suddenly stopped, staring in shock at Mo Nian. Chapter 1966 1966 The wild Huo Lian instantly stopped, looking at Mo Nian in shock. The latter had actually taken out a formation disc again, but this time, there were hundreds of divine items behind him. Although those divine items were all quasi-divine items, the sight of so many of them was still shocking. The thing that people didn't understand was how Mo Nian was capable of controlling so many divine items. It had to be known that each divine item had its own item spirit. A person's spiritual strength was limited, and normally they could only control a single divine item. Controlling two divine items was difficult, and those who could control three to five were very rare. The fact that Mo Nian had taken out a dozen divine items before and instantly absorbed all their divine energy had already been shocking enough. Now he was doing the same thing, but with hundreds of them. Are you not coming? Don't worry, I won't kill you. But if you dare to come over, it won't just be piss this time. Mo Nian waved the formation disc at the shocked Huo Lian. You, wretch, cursed Huo Lian. Huo Lian didn't know what method he had used. But when Mo Nian had sacrificed those divine items, the runic chains he had condensed had actually been able to bind Huo Lian. Huo Lian had been careless just now. However, if hundreds of divine items were sacrificed this time, the power would be dozens of times greater than before. Perhaps it might not be able to cause any serious harm to his flame body. But while he was bound, Mo Nian might actually crap on his head. The name of the Western wretch was not for nothing. Being humiliated in front of this many people was not something Huo Lian was willing to accept. He, that's right, young people shouldn't be so fiery. Just look at me. I'm hard at work every day, but I don't complain. No matter how people curse me, it doesn't stop me. So, little fellow, try to calm down. Once you reach my realm, you'll understand. That's all I have to say to you. I'm going to enter now, so you can leave. Mo Nian actually swaggered past Huo Lian's body and into Heavenly Fate Island. Bastard. Wretch. Huo Lian clenched his teeth, furiously cursing Mo Nian and 18 generations of his ancestors. But he didn't dare to attack. He might not be afraid of Mo Nian's battle power, but he was afraid of his wicked moves. He had already been defeated by Long Chen. So this was his only chance to wipe away that disgrace. He had to focus on that, or he would forever be a laughingstock. I can enter on my own. If you dare to say a word, do you believe me when I say I'll toss you into a dung pit for a hundred years? Two of Heavenly Fate Island's disciples came to receive Mo Nian, but once he spoke, they didn't dare to move. Sometimes, 
The western wretch was even more terrifying than the eastern madman. At most, Long Chen would just kill you, but Mo Nian would make you live a life worse than death. He was constantly challenging mankind's limits when it came to wretched moves. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Mo Nian walked right in. Those disciples of Heavenly Fate Island didn't dare to stop him. Bastard, don't even think about leaving Heavenly Fate Island alive. Huo Lian silently cursed. He also walked in. Scram. Just a short while later, a shout rang out like thunder. The disciples of Heavenly Fate Island were knocked back, coughing up blood. Everyone turned to look. Just who was brazen enough to attack Heavenly Fate Island's disciples? They quickly saw a powerful elder standing at the gates, wielding a black wooden cane. It's the sect master of the heaven-splitting battle sect, Wu Guangguan. It was the old man. The seven bosses had also come, as well as dozens of life star disciples. Those disciples were led by Bao Buping and Chang Hao. Fuck. When I dominated the continent, your fathers were still playing in the mud. Who dares to block me? Shouted the old man. His temper was well known on the Martial Heaven continent, and after advancing to Nether Passage, it had only grown worse. He wouldn't give face to anyone. Back in the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters, he had even dared to fight Pill Valley's master, Yu Ziaoyan. What didn't he dare to do? As for the disciples blocking his path, if he didn't see that they were so weak that they weren't worth anything, he would have long since beaten them to death. Those disciples simply didn't know enough about the continent. They were busy focusing on comprehending the mysteries of fate, and so they hadn't recognized the old man immediately. The old man suddenly turned back at the righteous path's experts that had been kept out of Heavenly Fate Island. Can you bastards grow up a bit? Just because they don't want you to enter. You won't? You're going to endure it as they insult you? What if they want to kill you instead? Are you going to stick your necks out for them to slice off? You cowards of the righteous path embarrass me. After that scolding, the old man walked in with the experts of the heaven-splitting battle sect. Fuck. This senior is right. I'm going in. Who dares to block me? Someone in the crowd suddenly walked forward, pointing his spear at the disciples of Heavenly Fate Island. He had been inspired by Mo Nian and the old man. Let's go. Others also shot into motion. They had long since been holding back their fury. Hey, you can't that disciple was kicked away. Fuck off with your can't. Why is it that others can but we can't? If you make any more noise, I won't go in. Instead, I'll just kill you before leaving. Chaos reigned at the entrance. Heavenly Fate Island had tried to give a show of power to the righteous path, but the old man wouldn't accept such a thing. What a waste of all your years. No wonder you've raised a group of fools. You don't know how to follow rules. Just at this moment, a cold snort rang out from deep within Heavenly Fate Island. It was the unfettered Alseer. He was mocking the old man for his rudeness. Don't play this meaningless game with me. Do you think people don't know about your plot? If you want something, then fight for it openly. The heaven-splitting battle sect's motto is fight or fuck off. If you keep spouting nonsense, I'll topple your heavenly fate island. The old man continued walking forward. Each time his cane touched the ground, the ground rumbled, indicating his determination. The unfettered Alseer didn't reply. In the senior generation, the old man had another nickname, which was the old madman. No one wanted to provoke him, because when he went crazy, he would do anything. If he was further angered, he might just start fighting before Long Chen even arrived. Countless experts followed along with the old man. Inside Heavenly Fate Island, they saw beautiful scenery, towering mountain ranges, long brooks, ancient trees. The spiritual chi here was extremely dense. This floating island was rich in precious minerals, but they weren't mined. Instead, they were connected by a formation to absorb the world's essence to nourish Heavenly Fate Island. This place was distant from the clamor of the mortal world. What a good place. But it's actually been occupied by a bunch of idiots. Cursed Bao Buping. In comparison to Heavenly Fate Island, their heaven-splitting battle sect was like the home of a pack of beggars. Fuck. Let's just kill them and take this island for ourselves. Chang Hao clenched his fist. Bao Buping and Chang Hao had just spoken when the old man kicked them both. Why'd you kick us? 
are you two unfilial bastards thinking of establishing your own sect here? Furthermore, this place is like mist blocking your eyes. You see the leaf in front of your eyes, but not the forest behind you. Here, you're isolated from the rest of the world. You'll think that what you see here is the entire world, when in reality, you see nothing. That's why Heavenly Fate Island has never produced any true gods and has no divine inheritance. As for our heaven-splitting battle sect, we were once called the heaven-splitting divine sect because we had godlike existences. The reason our home is barren is so that your hearts can be clear. So what if I kick you? If it weren't to give you face because so many people were here, I'd beat the crap out of you. Your words are against the foundations of our ancestors. Understood, demanded the old man. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were startled. They hadn't expected there to be such a thing. They shut their mouths. They continued onward and eventually reached a giant platform. There were countless runes carved onto the platform. It was a giant calculating machine. There were already quite a few experts gathered here. They formed three factions. One was the neutral faction that was in the middle. To the left were the people of the Martial Heaven Alliance, while to the right were the allied powers of Pill Valley, the Xuan Beasts, the Ancient Races, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, and the others. The old man saw Kujianying amongst the section for the Martial Heaven Alliance. His expression sank, but he still decided to sit on the edge of the Martial Heaven Alliance's side. Chapter 1967 1967 The old man's arrival caused things to become quiet. Pill Valley's side had been in the midst of mocking the Martial Heaven Alliance's side, but they shut their mouths now. Everyone knew that when the old man was enraged, there was nothing he feared. They couldn't afford to provoke such a figure. The old man was standing on the very edge. Although he was sitting on the side of the Martial Heaven Alliance, he clearly didn't want to mix with them. Seeing that, Ku Jianying was sad. Clearly, the matter of her expelling Long Chen was still fresh in the old man's mind. She didn't mind if others didn't understand her actions. But this coldness from the old man hurt her. I'll go over. Li Xiangxuan stood up. Leave it. That old bastard. He won't listen to anyone. Don't bother. Ku Jianying shook her head. This is just a misunderstanding. We can resolve it, said Li Xiangxuan. This choice had been something he had forced Ku Jianying to make. Hence, he didn't feel it was fair for the old man to blame her. Not all misunderstandings can be resolved. Resolving one misunderstanding will just create a second one. The two of us are fated to be like this for this lifetime. Ku Jianying looked at the old man's figure. She sighed with disappointment. Li Xiangxuan couldn't reply to this. Clearly, the old man and Ku Jianying's conflicting views went deeper than others saw. The old man's arrival also brought in thousands of righteous experts. They all paid their respects to Ku Jianying. Only through a brief conversation with them did Ku Jianying learn why so few of her people had entered in a long time. So it was all caused by Heavenly Fate Island. She frowned, about to stand, but was stopped by Li Xiangxuan. Li Xiangxuan smiled. Today, we're just spectators, and Long Chen is the main character. He already sent word to me that there's nothing we have to do. We can just calmly watch. That little brat, he's the same as the old bastard. He actually doesn't tell me anything. I'll properly beat him once he's safe, said Ku Jianying irritably. After Long Chen had been expelled, he had sent word to the old man and Li Xiangxuan through the Huaian sect. However, he hadn't sent any news to her. It was like he was treating her like an outsider. Alliance head, I approve of this plan. If you don't properly put him in his place, wouldn't he get himself killed sooner or later? Making you, who are busy with thousands of things every day, worry about him so much. He definitely has to be taught a lesson. Suddenly, Mo Nian, who was sitting beside Yi Lingxian, jumped in. He wouldn't give up any chance to con Long Chen. Yi Lingxian found it difficult to tolerate Mo Nian. There was no way to talk with him. When he spoke, he ended all conversations, as no one could reply to him. Perhaps the only one who could keep up with him was Long Chen. Bastard, don't think that you're any better than Long Chen. Stop trying to seduce my apprentice. She won't be marrying out. So, unless you want to marry in, you should give up. My apprentice couldn't be seduced by Long Chen. 
So don't think that your little skills are enough. I'm not trying to give you a blow, but you're a far cry from Long Chen in that regard, said Ku Jinying. Just who was Ku Jinying? Did Mo Nian's thoughts have the slightest possibility of escaping her gaze? Furthermore, she didn't really like Mo Nian, feeling him to be even more unreliable than Long Chen. When he smiled, it was truly unbearably wretched. Alliance head, this is where you're wrong. My lack of skills in this regard is due to a lack of experience. A lack of experience shows that I am a pure man, completely different from a rogue like Long Chen. Even if a thousand flowers were to drown me, I wouldn't touch them. Just ask yourself, who is as pure as I am on the Martial Heaven continent? Mother-in-law, just agree for my sake. Mo Nian actually knelt down before Ku Jinying, even changing the way he addressed her. Yi Lingxin was embarrassed and enraged. She had an urge to kick him. She had countless pursuers, but it was her first time seeing someone like Mo Nian. Yi Lingxin's desire came true. Mo Nian was kicked away by Ku Jinying. Perhaps it was coincidence or on purpose, but he flew over to the old man. The old man reached and caught him. Mo Nian hastily bowed. Many thanks, father-in-law. Novaloon.com The experts present almost coughed up blood. Mo Nian was talented. Everyone in the senior generation knew of the old man and Ku Jinying's relationship. If it weren't for their tempers being too fiery, the two of them would have long since ended up together. For him to call the old man father-in-law at this moment was quite perfect. The old man's expression was odd, but he didn't refute this appellation. He glanced at the distant Ku Jinying. Little fellow, for you to be brothers with Long Chen means you have some skill. Don't spend all day messing around. Men should be men. As long as you are strong enough, can't you find any woman you want? Rather than constantly pestering someone, wouldn't it be better to conserve some face? Seeing that the old man didn't refuse the title of father-in-law, Ku Jinying's heart softened slightly. At least, she was still in the old man's heart. HMPH, if he cared about face, would he be called the Western Wretch? A cold voice rang out in the distance. It was Hu Oliyan. Mo Nian angrily pointed at him. Little brat, get out here. I'll properly teach you how to behave. Was the piss bath not enough for you? This time I'll fix that. Seeing Mo Nian directly challenge Hu Oliyan, the old man nodded, feeling that he had at least some mannerisms of an expert. But then his expression darkened. Just what expert would do something like urinate on an opponent? Huo Liyan suppressed his anger at that comment and sneered. Who do you think you are a little mouse who hides all day? If I were to fight you all out, you would just run in your tortoise shell. Furthermore, today's main character is Long Chen. Once I kill Long Chen, I'll handle you, you wretch. Exactly. A wretch like Mo Nian only knows how to run. It runs in the family. Cursed someone else. This person was wearing robes of the ancient family alliance and seemed to have immense enmity with Mo Nian. Mo Nian, if you swear to fight to the death and not run, Brother Huo will definitely fight with you. But do you dare? This time it was someone from the ancient races. Before the Yun Yang world, Mo Nian's tomb digging had been limited to the ancient family alliance. But after it, Mo Nian had expanded his work to the ancient races, the corrupt path, the Xuan beasts, and the other powers. Apparently, during these past few months, Mo Nian had been crazily digging up tombs. Most days, he would manage to dig up seven ancient tombs in a day, infuriating the various large sects and families. They would then hunt him down as best as they could, but with the earth-splitting divine shuttle, no one could stop him. When he was still in the soul transformation realm, he had been able to easily escape his pursuers. Now that he was at the life star realm, he was even more difficult to catch. No one could do anything to him. The most hateful thing of all was that Mo Nian wasn't just flipping through their tombs and taking their treasures. He also brought their ancestors' corpses up to the sun, defiling them. It was a great taboo, but Mo Nian did it. He had sworn to do this in the battle in the Yun Yang world. They wanted to kill him? Then fine. Long Chen would be in charge of killing the living people, while he would be in charge of digging up the dead people. The various large powers spent all day trembling in fear that their ancient tombs would be targeted next. They spent a huge amount of money and manpower on guarding their tombs. Before this, 
most enmities would be resolved by charging at the actual sect, not their ancient tombs. Mo Nian was the first to use this method of revenge, which only made people hate him more. That was why thousands of experts immediately began to speak up to curse Mo Nian now, on his own. There was no way that Mo Nian could curse back at all these people. Don't be a coward. Go ahead. If any of their old fellows want to interfere, I'll help you handle them, said the old man. Mo Nian looked back at him. Inside, he thought to himself, old man, I'm not as crazy as that. A single Huo Lian would be tough enough. There's still true immortal Jiaoki, Ziluo, and the tens of thousands of heavenly geniuses from the other powers. Are you trying to get me killed? Cough. Father-in-law, I want to go kill them, but the main character is Long Chen. I can't fight over the limelight with him. I'll wait for him before doing anything, said Mo Nian. In the end, he obediently returned to his original position. However, seeing Yi Lingxian glare at him, Mo Nian helplessly hid behind Li Xiangxuan. Li Xiangxuan was very amicable and polite. Mo Nian held him in high esteem. Mo Nian had just sat down when a ruckus occurred. A young man had walked in. He was handsome and even scholarly, but it wasn't because of his looks that people were startled. It was because of the giant die behind him that was constantly spinning. The gambling heavenly Deo's heir, Hu Feng people's hearts shook. Hu Feng was an extremely mysterious existence. His fight against true immortal Jiaoki had caused his fame to skyrocket. Although the two of them had just been probing each other, Hu Feng's strange fighting style had left a deep impression on them. Some people even suspected him of being the continent's strongest expert, but he was too low-key for them to see just how strong he was. Hu Feng's arrival drew everyone's attention. Hu Feng looked around, and then, upon seeing Mo Nian, he cupped his fists. Brother Mo Nian, it's been a while. I'm glad to see you as healthy and graceful as ever. Right double quotation mark. Chapter 1968. 1968 haha. It's been a while. Why don't you come and sit over here? Things are very lively here. Mo Nian laughed. Seeming very familiar with Hu Fang. No. I'll be over there. Next time. I hope I'll be able to treat you to some wine as thanks for your pure water mercury. Hu Feng gracefully declined Mo Nian's proposal. That kind of thing couldn't be decided randomly. If he went over there, that would be equivalent to joining the Martial Heaven Alliance's side. Hence, he chose to sit in the neutral camp. He, that's fine. Let me tell you, there's plenty of that stuff within old tombs. I can get you as much as you want. I can even sell it to you wholesale. The more you buy, the greater the discount, said Mo Nian. Pure water mercury was a very peculiar thing. It was normally used to seal stone statues or coffins. But it was unknown what Hu Feng was using such a thing for. This kind of mercury would naturally absorb the earth's essence to grow. But above ground, it would absorb spiritual qi and slowly dissipate. Mo Nian spent a great deal of time underground. So he had quite a bit of this stuff. After a coincidental encounter, Hu Feng had bought a great deal of his stock. Originally, Mo Nian was planning on simply giving it to him, but Hu Feng had refused, insisting on buying it. The expressions of the opposing experts sank. Mo Nian had obtained that pure water mercury from their tombs. This was unbearable. Hu Feng hadn't expected Mo Nian to directly announce this matter to everyone. He couldn't help being a bit embarrassed, but he didn't say anything and sat down in the neutral camp. Big brother, are you very powerful? Hu Feng had just sat down when a little girl pulled on his sleeve. Ah not very powerful. Hu Feng was startled. Just how was he supposed to answer this question? If he said yes, it would be showing off. If he said no, it would appear like fake modesty. Zuanur, don't cause trouble. Suddenly, another woman came running over, grabbing the girl. This girl was Qi Xuan, while the person pulling her was her big sister. The one who was on the same level of fame as Yi Lingxian in Clear Wind City. Chi Fengsu. Chi Fengsu apologized. I'm sorry. My little sister doesn't understand things and might say something offensive. Hu Feng smiled. It's fine. It's very rare to see someone so pure and without other motives in the cultivation world. He. I knew that Big Brother was a good person. Big Brother Long Chen is also a good person. 
If brother Long Chen comes and can't beat these bad people, can you help him? Shouldn't good people help good people? Asked Qi Xuan. Ah, well, Hu Feng was immediately at a loss for words. Zuanur, stop it. Hurry and sit. Qi Fengsu's expression darkened. This place was the neutral camp, and since they were here, they couldn't participate in the fighting between the two sides. She was regretting bringing Qi Xuan, but if she didn't bring her sister, she would cause an even bigger fuss. Seeing Qi Fengsu's expression, Qi Xuan immediately began to cry. You're not a good person. Big brother Long Chen saved me in the Yun Yang world, but you're not going to help the person who saved your little sister? Is the point of cultivation to just protect your own hide? Qi Fengsu's expression became unnatural. Although Qi Xuan was naive, she still understood how to repay kindness. But even if Qi Fengsu understood that, what could she do? She wasn't just one person. She represented the heaven-reaching ancient castle and needed to be cautious with her actions. Long Chen, have you arrived yet? This time, I'll go at it with you 300 times. Suddenly, a thunderous voice rang out. A large, fat man with a fierce-looking face walked in. He had a giant butcher's knife on his shoulder. The fierce Yang Butcher, Tu Kai and Shang. A startled cry rang out. This fatty was a disciple of the wine god palace, Tu Kai and Shang. The current Tu Kai and Shang had advanced to the Nether Passage realm. When he walked in, an intense alcoholic smell filled people's noses. The smell was burning hot. As soon as people smelled it, they coughed, feeling like they couldn't breathe. Ha ha ha, fatty, you've come. Get over here. We missed you. Boss Bao laughed and enthusiastically called out to him. The other bosses all stood excitedly, seeing them. Tu Kai and Chang was delighted and hastily went over to give them a fierce embrace. Fuck. I encountered quite a few irritating pigs that tried not to let me in. I actually thought that Long Chen had already arrived. Cursed Tu Kai and Shang. At this time, they saw that Tu Kai and Shang's blade was covered in blood. Hearing this, they understood that those that had blocked him had probably met an untimely end. Greetings, Senior. Tu Kai and Shang bowed to the old man. No need for that nonsense. We know you have some good wine. Come. Come. Let us taste your new wine. Your wine's the strongest in this world. Boss Bao gulped down his saliva. Tu Kai and Chang and the seven bosses directly began to drink. Even the old man joined in. The smell of alcohol filled the air. After one gulp of Tu Kai and Chang's wine, Boss Bao breathed fire. The air was ignited. Fuck. If I wasn't familiar with you, I'd think that you were feeding us wine. This wine's addictive. Laughed Boss Bao. Tu Kai and Chang's wine was domineering. Ever since he had helped Long Chen escape the Grand Xia and slaughtered his old enemies, undoing the knot in his heart, his wine Dao had progressed even further. Even the old man exclaimed that this wine was good. He even forgot about his previous displeasure with Ku Jinying. Tu Kai and Chang, why have you come here? Is the wine god palace planning on interfering with Long Chen's matter? Demanded an elder from Heavenly Fate Island the Wine God Palace is the Wine God Palace. While I am Tu Kai and Shang, I've come here to drink wine with Long Chen. What does the rest have to do with me or the Wine God Palace? Other than that, don't stand so high. Count yourself lucky today that I haven't drunk that much, or I'd have cut off your head. Said Tu Kai and Shang coldly before ignoring him. Tu Kai and Shang's temper was very much to the old man's liking. His wine was even more to his appetite. After drinking a few bowls, he even forgot that this place was Heavenly Fate Island. More and more people were arriving, but Ku Jinying was disappointed to see more and more experts of the Righteous Path standing with Pill Valley. There was also a portion standing in the neutral camp. Alliance Head, don't feel bad. The waves wash away the sand, leaving behind the gold. It might be painful, but only through this can we be stronger. Comforted Li Xiangxuan. I understand the theory, but are people truly emotionless? Seeing those people that followed me into death in battle against the corrupt path now standing with the corrupt path, I can't say that my heart doesn't hurt. Ku Jinying shook her head. As time passes, people's hearts change. They followed you because of your charisma, because of their hot blood, but also because the righteous path was on the verge of destruction. If they didn't want to die, they had to fight. 
They didn't fight out of some noble desire. It was their only option back then. But now they have more options. Only now can we see who truly belongs to the righteous path, said Li Xiangxuan indifferently. These seniors of his had been people he had once worshipped in his youth. But now, seeing the hypocrisy of the world, he didn't feel anything. Di Feng has arrived. A flying boat shot over and a man walked off it. It was Di Long's son, the ancient family alliance's number one genius, Di Feng. Following him, a large group of experts from the ancient family alliance walked off the boat as well. These disciples were young, but they had reached the midlife star realm. Their auras were shockingly powerful. Di Feng's gaze swept through the crowd. His eyes landed on Mo Nian. Mo Nian, do you dare have a battle to the death with me? Just you? Last time, if it weren't for the sudden eruption in the yin yang world, you'd have already been killed by me. You had to lay down a trap for me in the yin yang world, and for you to challenge me again. I guarantee you've prepared another trap for me, because you simply have no confidence in beating me. The same trap used twice as meaningless, said Mo Nian lazily. HMPH, isn't that because you're a cowardly mouse? You just keep running. In a real fight, do you think I'm afraid of you? mocked Di Fang. Mo Nian was about to reply when everyone felt a chill. Two graceful figures walked in. Snow swirled around those two figures, and a biting chill struck the air. The two of them were like ice goddesses. One of them was the ice fairy, Yiz Hikyu, but the one beside her was a beautiful woman looking to be in her late twenties. There was a snowflake mark on her forehead. Upon seeing that woman, the senior generation was deeply stunned. Hu Jinying jumped up. Even the old man and the others stopped drinking, staring at her with disbelief. Why would she come? Chapter 1969 1969 I didn't expect the great Daoist Heavenly Feather to come to my Heavenly Fate Island. I'm sorry I couldn't personally greet you at the door. Space twisted, and the unfettered Alsir finally appeared. When they heard the name Daoist Heavenly Feather, the experts present all jumped. That was a legendary name. An existence that had reached the peak of Nether Passage at least and might have reached an even higher realm. Daoist Heavenly Feather was someone that almost no one had ever met. She existed almost exclusively in legend. However, she was the current master of the Divine Ice Palace. Her ice energy could only be called terrifying. As soon as she arrived, anyone with a cultivation base that had reached a certain level could feel her immense power. Although they might not have personally seen her before, they could guess her identity because only Daoist Heavenly Feather's ice energy had reached such a state. In truth, the swirling snow in the air was caused by Yi's Hikyu's power. Daoist Heavenly Feather's ice energy was under her perfect control, so only those that had reached a certain level could sense it. She was a supreme expert of the senior generation, even Pu Jinying, the old man, and the others had to stand and the unfettered Alsir was forced to come greet her. There's no need to be so formal. I've been in my humble home for many years. Now that the great era has come, it just so happened that I wanted to see which great geniuses are rising. I also get to exercise these old bones of mine. Otherwise, I might start getting rusty. Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled. Her voice was gentle and pleasant, not like Yi's Hikyu's icy voice. She had reached a perfect level of control in her energy. Just based on appearance, no one would be able to tell that she was a terrifying ice cultivator. Although Daoist Heavenly Feather looked young, she was definitely an old monster. Her age was probably much greater than anyone else present. Senior is too courteous. May I ask where you wish to sit? The unfettered Alsir asked cautiously. Yi's Hikyu and Long Chen's relationship was known to all. While Daoist Heavenly Feather was Yi's Hikyu's master, if Daoist Heavenly Feather had come as Long Chen's reinforcements, to call it troublesome would be an understatement. Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled slightly. I'll just sit here. There's no need for you to worry about me. Today, I am merely a spectator. Saying that, Daoist Heavenly Feather sat in the neutral camp. As for Yi's Hikyu, she bowed to Daoist Heavenly Feather and in front of everyone's shocked gazes, walked over to the Martial Heaven Alliance's side. Senior, this, the unfettered Alsir looked at Daoist Heavenly Feather. Young people have their own thoughts. I can't force her. Before joining my palace, 
I promised her that I would not take away her identity as one of the warriors of the Dragonblood Legion. However, don't worry. While she is fighting as a warrior of the Dragonblood Legion, she is not a disciple of my Divine Ice Palace. In other words, if she did at your hands today, I won't do anything, said Daoist Heavenly Feather lightly. Although that was what she said, the unfettered Alsir was not at ease at all. However, he couldn't do anything about it. There were still over two hours before the time that Long Chen had set. More and more experts trickled in. When one particular woman walked in, it once more caused an uproar. She wore pure white robes, and there was a certain rhythm to her movements that were like music. She was beautiful and elegant, possessing a graceful air. It's the Zither Fairy. The Zither Fairy Zi Yan had come. She was more reserved than before she had entered the Yin Yang world. There was a hidden sharpness behind her soft gaze. She seemed to have matured, and even in the face of so many experts, her expression didn't change. I heard that this woman has a romantic relationship with Long Chen. I wonder if it's true or not, whispered Mo Nian. Yi Zhikyu, who had been sitting with Yi Lingxian, spat out, wretch. Yi Lingxian couldn't hold back a laugh. Even Ku Jin Ying snickered. No one had expected Yi Zhikyu to say such a thing. As Mo Nian was speechless, Yi Lingxian said, You deserve it. Who asked you to constantly try to con Long Chen? Big Sister's Hikyu's words are entirely correct. Everyone knew about Long Chen's relationship with Yi's Hikyu. In the Jiuli secret realm, Yi's Hikyu had sacrificed herself to protect Long Chen. She had died in front of Long Chen, and he had gone crazy, slaughtering his enemies and making rivers of blood flow. Then when a powerful expert came to take away her corpse, Long Chen was willing to fight to the death to protect her. There were actually many versions of their romance story spread throughout the cultivation world. It was the stuff that romance novels were made of. For Mo Nian to intentionally sow dissension between Yi's Hikyu and Long Chen by mentioning this matter was truly wretched. However, for such a word to come from a nice beauty like Yi's Hikyu tasted very peculiar. Zi Yan greets Daoist Heavenly Feather. Zi Yan first bowed toward Daoist Heavenly Feather. Her voice was soft and seemed to be one with the heavenly Deos, as if her words were echoed by the world. Deoist Heavenly Feather was pleasantly surprised. You've awakened the voice of the heavens. It seems that another divine emissary is about to be born. The seven string sea suppressing zither has finally accepted you as a successor. Excellent. Deoist Heavenly Feather's words puzzled the surrounding experts. What voice of the heavens? What divine emissary? It seemed that she was talking about some secret. Zi Yan merely smiled. She then walked over to the Martial Heaven Alliance's side, or more specifically, toward Yi's Hikyu. Zi Yan greets Big Sister. Yi's Hikyu stood and bowed slightly without saying anything. Last time, when they had been about to be devoured by that curtain of darkness, it had been Zi Yan who had saved them. Yi's Hikyu thought about thanking her now. But she knew that Zi Yan belonged to the elusive music immortal palace. That was a neutral sect. And thanking her here wasn't too suitable. For Zi Yan to walk over to the Martial Heaven Alliance's side caused the expressions of Pill Valley's side to darken. Bastard. Di Feng clenched his fists. And a vein jumped on his forehead. He was jealous. What was so attractive about Long Chen that he had managed to seduce so many heavenly fairies. True immortal Jiaoki. Huo Lian and the others were all jealous. Zi Yan's status was just that high. She could look down on any one of them. Why was she so focused on Long Chen? Zi Yan's music Tao was a cultivation method that could bring her closer to the heavenly Deos. If she used her music Tao to help others comprehend the Tao, they would be able to cultivate faster and easier. Just how many heavenly geniuses longed to dual cultivate with Zi Yan? They would probably ascend to the heavens if their dreams came true. However, Zi Yan didn't give any of them a second glance. The only one she cared about was Long Chen. Long Chen had harmed her several times, even raising his blade against her, but she still wasn't able to forget him. Just what did she mean when she called Yi's Hikyu big sister? Was she joining her? Were they sharing a husband? Where was the heaven justice? Hey, hello, I'm Mo Nian. Long Chen's good brother we've actually met Mo Nian also stood. Hello. I can't stay here for long. After greeting my big sister, I have to leave. Sorry, 
Please forgive me. Zi Yan respectfully said hello to Mo Nian before leaving, going to the neutral camp and finding a place for herself to sit. What the fuck? I'm only given this little face. Mo Nian was speechless. Yi's Hikyu sat back down and was curious inside. Just now, Zi Yan had sent her a spiritual message. We are both successors of the Martial Heaven Continent's fate. She didn't know what that was supposed to mean, but it seemed that at the very least, they wouldn't be enemies in the future. She looked toward her master, confused. Daoist Heavenly Feather sent her a message. She is correct. She has already taken that step, but you have not. Yi's Hikyu's heart shook. She seemed to have understood something. Suddenly, immense pressure crashed down from the sky. One figure after another appeared. Yu Ziaoyan had come along with the other supreme leaders. The corrupt paths Zi Wentian, the ancient family alliances Di Long, the Xuan beasts Pen Wanli, the blood kill halls Zhang Ziyang, and the ancient races Long Junkang were all with him. Each of them was a powerful figure in their own right. Adding on the master of Heavenly Fate Island, the unfettered Alseer, all the leaders who had gone to the headquarters of the Martial Heaven Alliance to force Kujianying to expel Long Chen had come. Greetings, Daoist Heavenly Feather. Yu Ziaoyan and the others cut their fists toward Daoist Heavenly Feather. After all, her seniority was just too high. Even they didn't dare to be arrogant in front of her. Daoist Heavenly Feather nodded slightly toward them, not saying anything. She had already said that she was just here to watch and had no intention of upstaging anything. Haha, <laughs> how lively. So many of our clients are here. Our Huaian sect has also come to watch. We wouldn't be locked outside, would we? Just at this moment, two people walked in. They were the assistant sect master of the Huaian sect, Hua Mingxiang, and Zheng Wenlong. This time, Maruian, the sect master, hadn't come. However, Hua Mingxiang was enough because the majority of the Huaian sect's businesses were handled by him. Of course we wouldn't. We welcome you. It just so happens you can bear witness to how Long Chen dies. If you miss this chance, it would truly be a pity, sneered Yu Ziaoyan. Hua Mingxiang smiled. He was about to speak when a disdainful voice rang out from the distance, causing everyone's hearts to shake. How I die isn't something you'll get to see. However, there's a good chance that I'll be letting you rest in peace today. Right double quotation mark. Chapter 1970. 1970 following that voice that caused countless hearts to wildly pound. Everyone saw a black-robed Long Chen walk in. The current Long Chen was extremely calm. He had no fear, nor anger. The only expression on his face was disdain toward his enemies. Even though this place had gathered the top powers of the entire continent, he was looking down on them. He was walking casually like he was strolling through his own backyard. Long Chen had really come. The experts who had gathered as spectators knew that something major was about to occur today. Last time, because of Long Chen, a war had almost erupted throughout the continent. However, he had escaped, and Ku Jinying had expelled him from the Martial Heaven Alliance, resulting in that war not occurring. Some praised Ku Jinying for her foresight and judgment as well as how she thought about the lives of this world. However, the rest called her powerless and weak letting her own disciple suffer without standing up for him. They said that she had lost her domineering manner and was no longer fit to be a leader. Last time, the war was avoided because Long Chen had escaped. But now, he had come to a place where the top experts of every major power had gathered. How would he be able to escape this time? This place was a nest of monsters, but he had still thrown himself in. Furthermore, this nest was created because of him. There was no way his enemies would let him leave alive. If he died, what would the Martial Heaven Alliance do? If he died and the Martial Heaven Alliance didn't do anything about it, they would lose all their supporters. Those people had seen how much Long Chen had done for the Martial Heaven Alliance. So if he died, the Martial Heaven Alliance would be forced to go to war. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to keep their people. Today, even the four Grand Elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance had come. They were sitting behind Ku Jinying, looking like statues. But everyone knew that those four possessed the power to destroy heaven and earth before they died. Right now, Long Chen would decide the fate of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Countless young disciples stood up. 
shouting toward him. There were hundreds of thousands of them, some of them so emotional that they cried. The most emotional ones were those that had fought alongside him in the yin yang world. They had managed to comprehend the life and death tied in the yin yang world thanks to the dragon blood legion's protection. Because of it, they had advanced to the life star realm without the slightest difficulty. This was thanks to Long Chen, thanks to the Dragon Blood Legion, and thanks to their fellow comrades who had sacrificed themselves to protect them. They would never forget this. They had been the most furious ones when Long Chen was expelled. Some of them had also wanted to leave the Martial Heaven Alliance because of it. Seeing Long Chen now, it was like they had returned to the Yun Yang world. When they had fought alongside him, their voices raged like thunder. Long Chen is irreplaceable seeing Long Chen cause such a reaction just by arriving. Yi Lingxian smiled bitterly. She knew that no matter how she turned out to be, she would never cold compare to Long Chen in this regard. You'll have to work hard. Because you are a woman, you have to work harder to show that you won't lose to any man. Comforted Hu Jinying. However, Hu Jinying was also amazed by Long Chen's charisma, which was irresistible to both men and women. His wild nature and his guts to risk his life for others without hesitation made others also willing to do the same for him. She suspected that these people possessed such a level of loyalty to him that as long as he beckoned, they would go fight to the death with him. Fuck. Being a show-off without even trying is so cool. Mo Nian sighed. Just how was it that Long Chen received such a welcome, while he was practically overlooked? When he had come, although he had also caused a disturbance that had just been jeering and cursing, not this worshipful display. How was the difference between them so great? Brothers, after today, we can have a real match. There's no leaving until we're all drunk. And even when we're all drunk, there will be no leaving. Long Chen cupped his fists toward those disciples. His response was a heroic roar from those disciples. HMPH, you won't be living past today. True immortal Jiaoki's icy voice rang out. He was already standing and pointing his halberd at Long Chen. Long Chen ignored him, not even glancing in his direction. He first bowed to Ku Jinying. Alliance head, sorry for the trouble. I was the one who left the Martial Heaven Alliance, but I made you carry the burden. I will go apologize at your door another day. Hearing this, quite a few people looked at Ku Jinying with surprise. Long Chen was the one who had wanted to leave the Martial Heaven Alliance? People didn't quite believe it. Was Long Chen lying to help out Ku Jinying? The reason why I left the Martial Heaven Alliance is because I am establishing my own power. Starting today, my Dragon Blood Legion is joining the ranks of the major powers on the continent as the number one Legion of this world. So I'd like everyone who has come here today to bear witness to this. Today, this world will be losing a Heavenly Fate Island but gaining a Dragon Blood Legion, announced Long Chen. How brazen. It seems you've already gone insane. My heavenly fate island has been standing for countless years. We've borne witness to the rise and fall of the continent. How could a little brat like you do anything to us? Sneered the unfettered Alseer. Long Chen looked at him and smiled. That smile seemed to be a mix of disdain and pity. Don't focus your gazes on me. First, you should look up. Long Chen pointed toward the sky. What? He plans on undergoing tribulation here. Mo Nian looked up and jumped in shock. At some point, black tribulation clouds had started to slowly revolve in the sky. There was a majestic energy growing within those clouds that made everyone feel uneasy. Daoist Heavenly Feather looked up at those black clouds, a touch of shock appearing in her eyes. However, she didn't say anything. Ha ha ha, how laughable. I know you've used this method before. But did you think that Heavenly Fate Island was defenseless? I'll tell you the truth. This Heavenly Fate platform that we're on has the innate ability to screen us from the very heavens. Otherwise, cultivators of fate would have been locked down by the heavens and turned to dust for our defiant actions. To think that you didn't even know this yet wanted to use lightning tribulation against us. Let alone you. Even a nether passage expert's tribulation would be screened off. Now that you know this. You can die in peace, laughed the unfettered Alseer. Suddenly, all of Heavenly Fate Island shook, and pillars of light shot out of the platform that they were on. The light condensed into a giant barrier around all of Heavenly Fate Island. Haha, <laughs> do you see? Your little tricks are nothing, 
sneered the unfettered Alsir. Following the arrival of the barrier, the black cloud slowly dissipated. Long Chen looked at the sky calmly without replying. What? Have you been dumbfounded? Hurry up and come face your death. This time, it was Huo Lian speaking. The flame runes in his eyes revolved. Long Chen, don't worry. If heavenly tribulation is no good, then we can just use the blades in our hands to kill them, said the old man. That's right. Even though I'm called a butcher, I haven't slaughtered pigs in a long time, added Tu Kai and Shang. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we're willing to fight to the death with you. Even the Life Star disciples joined in, all of them raising their weapons, their auras rising. Seeing that scene, Yu Ziaoyan smiled faintly. This was precisely the result that he had wanted. However, at this moment, Long Chen waved his hand dismissively. A little heavenly fate island doesn't require all of you to fight. Just watch patiently. Of course, having a few cups of wine and a few snacks will make the show more enjoyable. Heavenly Fate Island claims to be able to read the heavens, to read life, and to read death, but I believe all of that to be bragging. They are just a group of conmen. Today, I'll expose their true faces. It was like something had shattered within Long Chen's body. A majestic aura surged out. A gust of wind unfurled with Long Chen at its center. The wind was like knives scraping against their faces. What a powerful aura. Startled cries rang out, but that wasn't all. Long Chen's aura was only growing stronger. People had no choice but to defend against it with their spiritual Yuan. He's just attacking the Life Star Realm. How can his aura be so powerful? Even the Nether Passage experts were stunned. This was merely the final bottleneck. But this aura was ten times greater than most Life Star experts. As his aura grew, space rumbled. A terrifying pressure crashed down and surged through Heavenly Fate Island. HMPH. It's useless. Within this formation, the heavens cannot find you. The tribulation cannot sense. The unfettered Alsir came to a sudden stop, his smile becoming rigid. He then slowly looked up, his expression changing. Following that voice that caused countless hearts to wildly pound, everyone saw a black-robed Long Chen walk in the current Long Chen was extremely calm. He had no fear, nor anger. The only expression on his face was disdain toward his enemies even though this place had gathered the top powers of the entire continent. He was looking down on them. He was walking casually like he was strolling through his own backyard Long Chen had really come. The experts who had gathered as spectators knew that something major was about to occur today last time. Because of Long Chen, a war had almost erupted throughout the continent. However, he had escaped and Ku Jinying had expelled him from the Martial Heaven Alliance, resulting in that war not occurring some praised Ku Jinying for her foresight and judgment as well as how she thought about the lives of this world however, the rest called her powerless and weak, letting her own disciple suffer without standing up for him, they said that she had lost her domineering manner and was no longer fit to be a leader last time, the war was avoided because Long Chen had escaped, but now, he had come to a place where the top experts of every major power had gathered. How would he be able to escape this time this place was a nest of monsters, but he had still thrown himself in. Furthermore, this nest was created because of him there was no way his enemies would let him leave alive. If he died, what would the Martial Heaven Alliance do? If he died and the Martial Heaven Alliance didn't do anything about it, they would lose all their supporters. Those people had seen how much Long Chen had done for the Martial Heaven Alliance. So if he died, the Martial Heaven Alliance would be forced to go to war. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to keep their people today. Even the four grand elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance had come. They were sitting behind Ku Jinying, looking like statues. But everyone knew that those four possessed the power to destroy heaven and earth before they died right now. Long Chen would decide the fate of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Countless young disciples stood up, shouting toward him. There were hundreds of thousands of them, some of them so emotional that they cried. The most emotional ones were those that had fought alongside him in the Yun Yang world. They had managed to comprehend the life and death tide in the Yun Yang world thanks to the Dragon Blood Legion's protection. Because of it, they had advanced to the Life Star Realm without the slightest difficulty. This was thanks to Long Chen. Thanks to the Dragonblood Legion, 
and thanks to their fellow comrades who had sacrificed themselves to protect them. They would never forget this they had been the most furious ones when Long Chen was expelled. Some of them had also wanted to leave the Martial Heaven Alliance because of it seeing Long Chen now. It was like they had returned to the Yun Yang world. When they had fought alongside him, their voices raged like thunder. Long Chen is irreplaceable seeing Long Chen cause such a reaction just by arriving. Yi Lingxian smiled bitterly. She knew that no matter how she turned out to be, she would never cold compare to Long Chen in this regard. You'll have to work hard. Because you are a woman, you have to work harder to show that you won't lose to any man. Comforted Ku Jin Ying however. Ku Jin Ying was also amazed by Long Chen's charisma, which was irresistible to both men and women. His wild nature and his guts to risk his life for others without hesitation made others also willing to do the same for him. She suspected that these people possessed such a level of loyalty to him that as long as he beckoned, they would go fight to the death with him. Fuck. Being a show-off without even trying is so cool. Mo Nian sighed. Just how was it that Long Chen received such a welcome, while he was practically overlooked when he had come, although he had also caused a disturbance? that had just been jeering and cursing, not this worshipful display. How was the difference between them so great? Brothers, after today, we can have a real match. There's no leaving until we're all drunk. And even when we're all drunk, there will be no leaving. Long Chen cupped his fists toward those disciples. His response was a heroic roar from those disciples. HMPH, you won't be living past today. True immortal Jiaoki's icy voice rang out. He was already standing and pointing his halberd at Long Chen. Long Chen ignored him, not even glancing in his direction. He first bowed to Ku Jin Ying. Alliance head. Sorry for the trouble. I was the one who left the Martial Heaven Alliance, but I made you carry the burden. I will go apologize at your door another day. Hearing this, quite a few people looked at Ku Jin Ying with surprise. Long Chen was the one who had wanted to leave the Martial Heaven Alliance? People didn't quite believe it. Was Long Chen lying to help out Ku Jin Ying? The reason why I left the Martial Heaven Alliance is because I am establishing my own power. Starting today, my Dragonblood Legion is joining the ranks of the major powers on the continent as the number one Legion of this world. So I'd like everyone who has come here today to bear witness to this. Today, this world will be losing a Heavenly Fate Island but gaining a Dragonblood Legion, announced Long Chen. How brazen. It seems you've already gone insane. My heavenly fate island has been standing for countless years. We've borne witness to the rise and fall of the continent. How could a little brat like you do anything to us? Sneered the unfettered Alsir Long Chen looked at him and smiled. That smile seemed to be a mix of disdain and pity. Don't focus your gazes on me. First, you should look up. Long Chen pointed toward the sky. What? He plans on undergoing tribulation here. Mo Nian looked up and jumped in shock. At some point, black tribulation clouds had started to slowly revolve in the sky. There was a majestic energy growing within those clouds that made everyone feel uneasy. Daoist Heavenly Feather looked up at those black clouds, a touch of shock appearing in her eyes. However, she didn't say anything. Ha ha ha, how laughable. I know you've used this method before, but did you think that Heavenly Fate Island was defenseless? I'll tell you the truth. This heavenly fate platform that we're on has the innate ability to screen us from the very heavens. Otherwise, cultivators of fate would have been locked down by the heavens and turned to dust for our defiant actions. To think that you didn't even know this yet wanted to use lightning tribulation against us. Let alone you. Even a nether passage expert's tribulation would be screened off. Now that you know this, you can die in peace. Laughed the unfettered Alsir suddenly. All of Heavenly Fate Island shook, and pillars of light shot out of the platform that they were on. The light condensed into a giant barrier around all of Heavenly Fate Island. Haha, <laughs> do you see? Your little tricks are nothing, sneered the unfettered Alsir following the arrival of the barrier. The black cloud slowly dissipated. Long Chen looked at the sky calmly without replying. What? Have you been dumbfounded? Hurry up and come face your death. This time. It was Huo Lian speaking. The flame runes in his eyes revolved. Long Chen, don't worry. If heavenly tribulation is no good, then we can just use the blades in our hands to kill them, said the old man. That's right. Even though I'm called a butcher, 
I haven't slaughtered pigs in a long time, added Tu Kai and Shang, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We're willing to fight to the death with you. Even the Life Star disciples joined in, all of them raising their weapons, their auras rising seeing that scene. Yu Ziaoyan smiled faintly. This was precisely the result that he had wanted however, at this moment, Long Chen waved his hand dismissively. A little heavenly fate island doesn't require all of you to fight. Just watch patiently. Of course, having a few cups of wine and a few snacks will make the show more enjoyable. Heavenly Fate Island claims to be able to read the heavens, to read life, and to read death, but I believe all of that to be bragging. They are just a group of conmen. Today, I'll expose their true faces. It was like something had shattered within Long Chen's body. A majestic aura surged out a gust of wind unfurled with Long Chen at its center. The wind was like knives scraping against their faces. What a powerful aura. Startled cries rang out, but that wasn't all. Long Chen's aura was only growing stronger. People had no choice but to defend against it with their spiritual yuan. He's just attacking the life star realm. How can his aura be so powerful? Even the nether passage experts were stunned this was merely the final bottleneck. But this aura was ten times greater than most life star experts as his aura grew. Space rumbled. A terrifying pressure crashed down and surged through Heavenly Fate Island. HMPH. It's useless. Within this formation, the heavens cannot find you. The tribulation cannot sense. The unfettered Alsir came to a sudden stop, his smile becoming rigid. He then slowly looked up, his expression changing. Chapter 1971 1971 There was no change in the sky, but the barrier that was enveloping Heavenly Fate Island was starting to crack. But, this is impossible. The unfettered Alsir's expression completely changed. Even a nether passage expert's tribulation would be blocked off in this special location. That was not just bragging. It was truly the case. With multiple examples in history, even the tribulations of an even higher realm could be screened off. So the unfettered Alsir had felt complete disdain for Long Chen's actions. However, although there were no clouds, although there were no signs of heavenly tribulation, the barrier was starting to break. Suddenly, Long Chen let out a roar at the sky. His divine ring spun behind him, and light erupted out of his eyes. Boom. In front of countless experts' shocked gazes, Heavenly Fate Island's grand formation shattered. At the same time as the formation shattered, the sky rumbled and a streak of lightning appeared in the air, coiling into a giant lightning ring. Every single person present, regardless of cultivation base, felt an extreme sense of danger. The might of the heavens enveloped them. It really is a tribulation of legends. But Long Chen is just a mortal. How is he supposed to pass this tribulation? Daoist Heavenly Feather slowly stood up and began to walk away, muttering to herself. Seeing this, Yi's Hikiu hastily followed, holding her arm. Master, Yi's Hikiu was befuddled. You should get further away. This heavenly tribulation is very dangerous. It's not something a human can endure said Daoist Heavenly Feather. It's not something a human can endure? Then who can endure it? Asked Jis Hikyu. A monster. Daoist Heavenly Feather showed a smile that was not a smile and walked out of Heavenly Fate Island. Yu Ziaoyan, Zi Wentian, Pen Wanli, Di Long, and the others also rushed away. Although they had been shocked by this sight, they hadn't thought about leaving. But the fact that Daoist Heavenly Feather would walk away gave them a bad feeling. Suddenly, a pillar of lightning crashed down from the center of the lightning ring, attacking Long Chen. Lightning exploding, filling the sky with blinding light. The old man and the others had already left. Long Chen's heavenly tribulation was so terrifying that the pressure it exuded even before descending was enough to make them feel ice cold. Curious. Why does it seem that this attack has no power behind it? The strange thing was that although this attack seemed like a furious attack intent on killing him in one blow, it was more like a firework. Although there was brilliant light, it didn't have much power. Even an ordinary life star expert would have been able to block it. This attack was just to create a mark. So it had no power, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. A mark. Everyone was dumbfounded. Only now did Kujinying bring the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts to greet Daoist Heavenly Feather. The previous situation hadn't been appropriate for her to do so. 
as it would have felt like she was trying to pull her onto her side. Now everyone was standing together as they retreated from Heavenly Fate Island. Senior, do you know the origin of Long Chen's Heavenly Tribulation Probe Kujinying? Daoist Heavenly Feather seemed amicable enough and didn't seem to discriminate against anybody. I know a bit. However, I'm not sure about all of it. So let's just keep watching. This Heavenly Tribulation exists only in legend, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. At this moment, the sky darkened and tribulation clouds covered the sky. It was like the world had fallen into eternal night, into endless death. It looked like the end of the world. Just as people were terrified for their lives, a pillar of light lit up this dark world. It landed at the center of the heavenly fate platform, right on Long Chen. Within the darkness, the only light was that pillar. It was like Long Chen was the only one in this world. Lightning runes began to appear around Long Chen making him appear godly. Even the heavens are helping him show off. That's definitely unprecedented. I, Mo Nian, have to admit my defeat. Mo Nian sighed. This was something that he would never be able to surpass. Long Chen looked up at the sky, his eyes calm as water. He had no thoughts of showing off because he knew that this would be his most difficult tribulation yet. He could already feel a sensation of death enveloping him. The sky suddenly exploded. The light spread, covering a wide area of Heavenly Fate Island. The unfettered Alsir's expression immediately sank. Such a terrifying Heavenly Tribulation was something he had never seen. If he allowed it to continue, Heavenly Fate Island would be turned into ruins. Kill him. Don't let him undergo Tribulation. Four young disciples immediately stood up amongst the people of Heavenly Fate Island. Shockingly, their auras were not inferior to true immortal Jayaoki and the others. The real four fate princes have finally come out. Ku Jin Ying narrowed her eyes. Although it was a secret that Heavenly Fate Island had a deputy for each fate prince, she was still aware of it. The four fate princes pointed their rulers at Long Chen. The runes on their rulers lit up, forming a strange formation. It seemed like the four of them had a special combination attack. However, Huo Lian, Di Fang, Zi Luo, Ji Yui Kan as well as Miang Ji's replacement, Yan Wei, also flew out, attacking Long Chen at the same time. This was their one chance to get revenge, as well as to establish their own superiority over the others. True immortal Jiaoki roared, and a nine-colored streak of light flew through the air. He was the fastest with the Kilin War Chariot. Long Chen, face your death, wielding his halberd. True immortal Jiaoki unleashed a vicious attack. At the same time, a ray of divine light shot out from his celestial horse, as well as the Kilin War Chariot. He wanted to kill Long Chen with this attack. As long as Long Chen was killed, the Heavenly Tribulation would disappear, so they weren't worried. As for the other experts, they wished to kill Long Chen as well, but they didn't have the confidence to compete with them, so they just watched. This horse isn't bad, it should have quite a bit of meat. Long Chen sneered and raised his saber. However, he didn't slash it toward true immortal Jayaoki. Instead, he slashed it at the sky. Boom. His saber tore through the sky. A giant cut appearing. He dares to attack his heavenly tribulation. People were appalled by this action. Wasn't this suicide? Perhaps suicidal actions were common for Long Chen. But it was shocking to others. Any disrespect to the heavenly deos during a heavenly tribulation would cause the tribulation to become a terrifying punishment. Lightning poured out of the tear in the sky, surging down like a waterfall. The sound of rushing thunder boomed. That's divine lightning. Boom. Just at this moment, true immortal Jayaoki arrived. However, the nine-colored celestial horse let out a mournful cry and hastily retreated. As for the Kilin War Chariot's attack, due to the celestial horse retreating, its attack also missed. Only true immortal Jayaoki charged through the lightning waterfall. But as he passed through the thick waterfall, his expression changed. The torrent of lightning was wearing away his power. His attack was down to 70% of its original force. The lightning stung his eyes. Before his vision cleared, a hand slapped across his face. True immortal Jayaoki went flying. He smashed through the lightning waterfall and into the heavenly fate platform. He tumbled against the platform several times. That platform was even more durable than divine items, but many cracks appeared in it now. In the end, 
he slammed into one of its stone pillars before stopping. People looked at true immortal Jayaoki with shock. He had been handled easily by a slap from Long Chen. It was like he had beaten a child. Was Long Chen really so powerful? That was true immortal Jayaoki he had just handled. Someone at the fifth heaven stage of life star. Now, Long Chen's palm lines had been imprinted onto his face. True immortal Jayaoki let out a furious roar and charged forward once more. Idiot. Have you been struck stupid? You're going in the wrong direction. Sneered Mo Nian. Stars were still spinning in true immortal Jayaoki's eyes. He had actually charged in the opposite direction of Long Chen. In the face of the amazed gazes of the martial heaven continents experts. He almost went insane. He turned around. Charging back toward Long Chen. As for his horse. It was terrified of the lightning and was already far away, attacking Long Chen from a distance. At this time, Huo Lian, Di Fang, Zi Luo, Ji Yui Kan, Yan Wei, and the others arrived, charging through the wild lightning waterfall. Just as that moment, the sky exploded. A torrent of lightning poured down. There was no change in the sky, but the barrier that was enveloping Heavenly Fate Island was starting to crack. But, this is impossible. The unfettered Alsir's expression completely changed. Even a nether passage expert's tribulation would be blocked off in this special location. That was not just bragging. It was truly the case. With multiple examples in history even the tribulations of an even higher realm could be screened off. So the unfettered Alsir had felt complete disdain for Long Chen's actions however. Although there were no clouds. Although there were no signs of heavenly tribulation. The barrier was starting to break suddenly. Long Chen let out a roar at the sky. His divine ring spun behind him, and light erupted out of his eyes boom in front of countless experts' shocked gazes. Heavenly Fate Island's grand formation shattered at the same time as the formation shattered. The sky rumbled and a streak of lightning appeared in the air, coiling into a giant lightning ring every single person present, regardless of cultivation base, felt an extreme sense of danger. The might of the heavens enveloped them. It really is a tribulation of legends. But Long Chen is just a mortal. How is he supposed to pass this tribulation? Daoist Heavenly Feather slowly stood up and began to walk away, muttering to herself. Seeing this, Yiz Hikiu hastily followed, holding her arm. Master, Yiz Hikiu was befuddled. You should get further away. This heavenly tribulation is very dangerous. It's not something a human can endure said Daoist Heavenly Feather it's not something a human can endure? Then who can endure it? Asked Jis Hikyu. A monster. Daoist Heavenly Feather showed a smile that was not a smile and walked out of Heavenly Fate Island Yu Ziaoyan, Zi Wentian, Pen Wanli, Di Long, and the others also rushed away. Although they had been shocked by this sight, they hadn't thought about leaving. But the fact that Daoist Heavenly Feather would walk away gave them a bad feeling suddenly. A pillar of lightning crashed down from the center of the lightning ring, attacking Long Chen. Lightning exploding, filling the sky with blinding light. The old man and the others had already left. Long Chen's heavenly tribulation was so terrifying that the pressure it exuded even before descending was enough to make them feel ice cold. Curious. Why does it seem that this attack has no power behind it? The strange thing was that although this attack seemed like a furious attack intent on killing him in one blow, it was more like a firework. Although there was brilliant light, it didn't have much power. Even an ordinary life star expert would have been able to block it. This attack was just to create a mark. So it had no power, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. A mark. Everyone was dumbfounded. Only now did Kujinying bring the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts to greet Daoist Heavenly Feather. The previous situation hadn't been appropriate for her to do so, as it would have felt like she was trying to pull her onto her side. Now everyone was standing together as they retreated from Heavenly Fate Island. Senior, do you know the origin of Long Chen's Heavenly Tribulation probe Kujinying? Daoist Heavenly Feather seemed amicable enough and didn't seem to discriminate against anybody. I know a bit. However, I'm not sure about all of it. So let's just keep watching. This heavenly tribulation exists only in legend. Said Daoist Heavenly Feather at this moment the sky darkened and tribulation clouds covered the sky. It was like the world had fallen into eternal night. 
into endless death it looked like the end of the world. Just as people were terrified for their lives, a pillar of light lit up this dark world. It landed at the center of the Heavenly Fate platform, right on Long Chen within the darkness. The only light was that pillar. It was like Long Chen was the only one in this world. Lightning runes began to appear around Long Chen, making him appear godly. Even the heavens are helping him show off. That's definitely unprecedented. I, Mo Nian, have to admit my defeat. Mo Nian sighed. This was something that he would never be able to surpass. Long Chen looked up at the sky, his eyes calm as water. He had no thoughts of showing off because he knew that this would be his most difficult tribulation yet. He could already feel a sensation of death enveloping him the sky suddenly exploded. The light spread, covering a wide area of heavenly fate island the unfettered Alsir's expression immediately sank. Such a terrifying heavenly tribulation was something he had never seen. If he allowed it to continue, heavenly fate island would be turned into ruins. Kill him. Don't let him undergo tribulation. Four young disciples immediately stood up amongst the people of heavenly fate island. Shockingly, their auras were not inferior to true immortal Jiaoki and the others. The real four fate princes have finally come out. Ku Jin Ying narrowed her eyes. Although it was a secret that Heavenly Fate Island had a deputy for each fate prince, she was still aware of it. The four fate princes pointed their rulers at Long Chen. The runes on their rulers lit up, forming a strange formation. It seemed like the four of them had a special combination attack, however. Huo Lian. Di Fang, Zi Luo, Ji Yui Can, as well as Miang Ji's replacement, Yan Wei, also flew out, attacking Long Chen at the same time. This was their one chance to get revenge, as well as to establish their own superiority over the other's true immortal Jiaoki roared, and a nine colored streak of light flew through the air. He was the fastest with the Killing War chariot. Long Chen, face your death, wielding his halberd. True immortal Jiaoki unleashed a vicious attack. At the same time, a ray of divine light shot out from his celestial horse, as well as the Killin War Chariot. He wanted to kill Long Chen with this attack as long as Long Chen was killed. The heavenly tribulation would disappear, so they weren't worried. As for the other experts, they wished to kill Long Chen as well, but they didn't have the confidence to compete with them, so they just watched. This horse isn't bad. It should have quite a bit of meat. Long Chen sneered and raised his saber. However, he didn't slash it toward true immortal Jiaoki. Instead, he slashed it at the sky boom his saber tore through the sky. A giant cut appearing. He dares to attack his heavenly tribulation. People were appalled by this action. Wasn't this suicide? Perhaps suicidal actions were common for Long Chen. But it was shocking to others. Any disrespect to the heavenly deos during a heavenly tribulation would cause the tribulation to become a terrifying punishment lightning poured out of the tear in the sky, surging down like a waterfall. The sound of rushing thunder boomed, that's divine lightning, boom just at this moment. True immortal Jiaoki arrived. However, the nine-colored celestial horse let out a mournful cry and hastily retreated as for the Killin war chariot's attack, due to the celestial horse retreating. Its attack also missed only true immortal Jiaoki charged through the lightning waterfall. But as he passed through the thick waterfall, his expression changed. The torrent of lightning was wearing away his power. His attack was down to 70% of its original force the lightning stung his eyes. Before his vision cleared, a hand slapped across his face true immortal Jiaoki went flying. He smashed through the lightning waterfall and into the heavenly fate platform he tumbled against the platform several times. That platform was even more durable than divine items, but many cracks appeared in it now. In the end, he slammed into one of its stone pillars before stopping people looked at true immortal Jiaoki with shock. He had been handled easily by a slap from Long Chen. It was like he had beaten a child. Was Long Chen really so powerful that was true immortal Jiaoki he had just handled? Someone at the fifth vestige of life star. Now, Long Chen's palm lines had been imprinted onto his face true immortal Jiaoki let out a furious roar and charged forward once more. Idiot. Have you been struck stupid? You're going in the wrong direction. Sneered Mo Nian stars were still spinning in true immortal Jiaoki's eyes. 
He had actually charged in the opposite direction of Long Chen in the face of the amazed gazes of the martial heaven continent's experts. He almost went insane. He turned around, charging back toward Long Chen as for his horse. It was terrified of the lightning and was already far away, attacking Long Chen from a distance at this time. Huo Lian, Di Fang, Zi Luo, Ji Yui Kan, Yan Wei, and the others arrived, charging through the wild lightning waterfall just as that moment, the sky exploded. A torrent of lightning poured down. Chapter 1972 1972 Audio Player Originally the lightning had only been coming from the tear that Long Chen had cut in the sky. But now, it was like the dam had broken, and it poured down from every part of the sky. All of Heavenly Fate Island shook violently. The lightning spread in every direction. Although the Heavenly Fate platform was able to endure the lightning, the surrounding buildings weren't able to. They instantly exploded. Heavenly Fate Island was ravaged by the lightning. The beautiful scenery was turned into one of destruction. Even those who had enmity with Heavenly Fate Island couldn't help feeling bad that such a beautiful place was being destroyed. Long Chen, you vile monster. The unfettered Alseer lost all his previous calm and disdain. Other than a few buildings that were still standing, everything else within this lightning had been turned to rubble. As for those buildings that had survived, they were special buildings. There were quite a few of Heavenly Fate Island's people within them crying out in shock and terror as they were now surrounded by lightning. They could only rely on the building's defenses to stay alive, but those defenses seemed paper-thin at this moment. This was just the start of Long Chen's tribulation, and it would only get stronger. If no one went to save them, those buildings wouldn't necessarily be able to survive. Island Master, save us. Those people let out cries. There were thousands of them. Long Chen. Hurry and leave Heavenly Fate Island. Are you trying to get so many innocent people killed? Shouted the unfettered Alseer. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed derisively. As for true immortal Jiaoki, Huo Lian, and the others, they were repelled by the lightning, unable to get close to him. Long Chen himself, despite being bathed in that lightning, wasn't harmed in the slightest. Innocent people? Why does that sound so laughable when it comes from your mouth? So even you have the concept of innocent people in your minds? Do you know how many wicked deeds you've helped Pill Valley with? What about the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race? What about the righteous path? What about the sects you secretly destroyed? What about the chaos reigning on the martial heaven continent that you've intentionally caused? How many people have died because of your sinister plots? Weren't they innocent as well? You want to talk about innocence with me? Then let me ask you, how many fucking years did you spend cultivating the thickness of your skin so that it's impervious to sword and fire? Demanded Long Chen. You, you, the unfettered Alseer was as red as an apple. It seemed he still hadn't cultivated his skin to a high enough level. He was so angry that he didn't know how to reply. In the end, he finally found an excuse. An incredible excuse that was behind belief. That's all because of you. If you hadn't hidden yourself away, those innocent people wouldn't have died. So based on that, wouldn't my tribulation here at Heavenly Fate Island be because of you? Sneered Long Chen. Because of me? What I sent you a challenge saying I was going to destroy Heavenly Fate Island. If you were smart, you would have simply disbanded your disciples and given Heavenly Fate Island to me. Then there would have been no tribulation. So it's all because of you. Your foolishness your overconfidence, and your greed. In that case, the innocent deaths of these disciples of Heavenly Fate Island have nothing to do with me. Right, laughed Long Chen. You what bullshit? It's not as strong as your own bullshit. Stop yapping. If you have the gods, then come bite me. Seeing the master of Heavenly Fate Island be so infuriated, the old man and the others laughed. This was a truly satisfying sight. As for Kujinying, she was worried. This heavenly tribulation was too terrifying. Just the first wave of it contained divine lightning. It was difficult to say whether or not Long Chen could pass it. Even if he could survive, this tribulation would leave him heavily injured. At that time, whether or not they could save him was unknown. At this time, even Li Xiangxuan's expression was serious. Only two people in this world knew the truth behind Long Chen. One was him, and the other was Ling Yunzi. 
Li Xiangxuan knew that Long Chen wouldn't die to other people's hands. His final fate was to die to heavenly tribulation. This time, even Li Xiangxuan had no assurance. The lightning continued to rumble. True immortal Jiaoki and the others were barely able to stay within it. They would need to expend a huge amount of energy just to advance further. In this kind of scenario, even if they did manage to charge over to Long Chen, their power would be exhausted. True immortal Jiaoki had already suffered once thanks to that. No one wanted to be the second. Let's not be impatient. Once the first wave is over, before the second wave starts, there will be a brief moment. We can attack together to slay Long Chen. Di Feng sent a message to the others. They nodded and spread out, surrounding Long Chen. This thunder force wasn't able to cause too much damage to them. Because they were also heavenly geniuses, they had also been tempered by divine lightning during their tribulations. So they possessed some resistance. Zither Fairy. Long Chen is a slaughterer who is currently killing innocent people without the slightest mercy. Are you going to watch on the side as they are murdered? The unfettered Alsir suddenly turned to Zi Yan. Everyone's attention immediately turned to Zi Yan. Hu Jin Ying and the others' hearts clenched. In this kind of situation, perhaps only Zi Yan possessed the power to get Long Chen killed. As long as she wished it, she could use her zither music to affect Long Chen, strengthening his heart devil and getting him killed. The old man narrowed his eyes. As long as Zi Yan made any move, he wouldn't care about any consequences. He wouldn't allow anyone to harm his child. However, Zi Yan merely smiled and shook her head. Innocent? Actually, I'm also innocent, but no one helped me. Zi Yan's smile was bitter and contained a mocking feeling. Actually, she had left out the final bit. In the end, the only one that had extended a helping hand had been Long Chen. In the Yun Yang world, she had been affected by Grand Elder Yan Nanshan's words and made an agreement with the Seven String Sea suppressing Zither to suppress her power and make her an ordinary rank 9 celestial. She had viewed the world from a different angle than that of the Zither Fairy. As a result, as soon as her view changed, the beautiful world she had once seen became vile and despicable. Once people tore off the disguise they pretended to have around her, she saw the darkness and blood. In the Yun Yang world, the people that had once been respectful to her and happily listened to her expound on the Tao turned to mock her. They had once treated her like a god, but now they raised their butcher's knives against her. Although she said the same words, instead of respect, she was met with derision. She had suffered immensely in the yin yang world during this period, killing people out of greed, the strong devouring the weak. She had personally experienced them. The worst was when she had saved someone only to have that person backstab her and try to kill her. After that, her heart had grown cold. The unexpected thing though was that the only one who came to help her was Long Chen, her fated enemy. Now the unfettered Alsir wanted her to target Long Chen with the excuse of saving these innocent people? She felt it to be almost laughable. Seeing Zi Yan decline, the old man sighed with relief and turned back to Long Chen. He had a bitter smile. He glanced at the distant Hu Jin Ying and thought to himself that Long Chen truly had some abilities. As for himself, he was unable to handle even a single woman. Hu Jin Ying smiled, while Mo Nian rolled his eyes. He felt like he shouldn't have come today. He was given blows from every direction. This Zi Yan had also been seized. Fickle-hearted men aren't reliable, don't you think so? Little sister Ling Shen? I feel like a person should focus only on one person whispered Mo Nian. Surprisingly, Yi Lingshan shook her head. I disagree. An outstanding man should be like a mountain others look up to. They should fight. They should strive. As for those without a single woman beside them, they aren't interesting. If others didn't want them, then there's definitely some problem with them. Focusing on one is just an excuse. Others look down on them, so focusing on one is their only choice. Damn, my heart. Mo Nian was embarrassed. Was there really such logic in this world? Furthermore, for it to come out of a woman's mouth left him speechless. He felt like Yi Lingshan had said it just to anger him. The unfettered Alsir's expression sank at Zi Yan's refusal, and he was about to speak when rumbling rang out. The buildings had finally reached their limit. Their formations crumbled, and the disciples within let out cries of despair as they were blown to bits. Long Chen. 
I'll make sure you have a miserable death today, roared the unfettered Alsir. The deaths of these thousands of people put him on the spot because this plan had been made by him. More rumbling rang out. The lightning in the sky suddenly began to weaken. Attack. This was the best time to kill Long Chen. True immortal Jiaoki led the charge. Attacking together with Huo Lian, Zi Luo, Ji Yui Kan, Di Fang, and the four fate princes. Originally, the lightning had only been coming from the tear that Long Chen had cut in the sky. But now, it was like the dam had broken, and it poured down from every part of the sky all of heavenly fate island shook violently. The lightning spread in every direction although the heavenly fate platform was able to endure the lightning, the surrounding buildings weren't able to. They instantly exploded heavenly fate island was ravaged by the lightning. The beautiful scenery was turned into one of destruction even those who had enmity with heavenly fate island couldn't help feeling bad that such a beautiful place was being destroyed. Long Chen, you vile monster, the unfettered Alsir lost all his previous calm and disdain. Other than a few buildings that were still standing, everything else within this lightning had been turned to rubble as for those buildings that had survived. They were special buildings. There were quite a few of Heavenly Fate Island's people within them, crying out in shock and terror as they were now surrounded by lightning. They could only rely on the building's defenses to stay alive. But those defenses seemed paper thin at this moment. This was just the start of Long Chen's tribulation, and it would only get stronger. If no one went to save them, those buildings wouldn't necessarily be able to survive. Island Master, save us. Those people let out cries. There were thousands of them. Long Chen, hurry and leave Heavenly Fate Island. Are you trying to get so many innocent people killed? Shouted the unfettered Alsir. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed derisively. As for true immortal Jiaoki, Huo Lian, and the others, they were repelled by the lightning. Unable to get close to him, Long Chen himself, despite being bathed in that lightning, wasn't harmed in the slightest. Innocent people? Why does that sound so laughable when it comes from your mouth? So even you have the concept of innocent people in your minds? Do you know how many wicked deeds you've helped Pill Valley with? What about the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race? What about the righteous path? What about the sects you secretly destroyed? What about the chaos reigning on the martial heaven continent that you've intentionally caused? How many people have died because of your sinister plots? Weren't they innocent as well? You want to talk about innocence with me? Then let me ask you. How many fucking years did you spend cultivating the thickness of your skin so that it's impervious to sword and fire? Demanded Long Chen. You. You. The unfettered Alsir was as red as an apple. It seemed he still hadn't cultivated his skin to a high enough level. He was so angry that he didn't know how to reply. In the end, he finally found an excuse. An incredible excuse that was behind belief. That's all because of you. If you hadn't hidden yourself away, those innocent people wouldn't have died. So based on that, wouldn't my tribulation here at Heavenly Fate Island be because of you? Sneered Long Chen. Because of me? What I sent you a challenge saying I was going to destroy Heavenly Fate Island. If you were smart, you would have simply disbanded your disciples and given Heavenly Fate Island to me. Then there would have been no tribulation. So it's all because of you your foolishness, your overconfidence, and your greed. In that case, the innocent deaths of these disciples of Heavenly Fate Island have nothing to do with me, right? Laughed Long Chen. You what bullshit? It's not as strong as your own bullshit. Stop yapping. If you have the gods, then come bite me. Seeing the master of Heavenly Fate Island be so infuriated, the old man and the others laughed. This was a truly satisfying sight as for Kujinying. She was worried. This heavenly tribulation was too terrifying. Just the first wave of it contained divine lightning. It was difficult to say whether or not Long Chen could pass it even if he could survive. This tribulation would leave him heavily injured. At that time, whether or not they could save him was unknown at this time. Even Li Xiangxuan's expression was serious. Only two people in this world knew the truth behind Long Chen. One was him and the other was Ling Yunzi Li Xiangxuan knew that Long Chen wouldn't die to other people's hands. His final fate was to die to heavenly tribulation. This time, even Li Xiangxuan had no assurance the lightning continued to rumble. True immortal Jiaoki and the others were barely able to stay within it. 
they would need to expend a huge amount of energy just to advance further in this kind of scenario. Even if they did manage to charge over to Long Chen, their power would be exhausted. True immortal Jiaoki had already suffered once thanks to that. No one wanted to be the second. Let's not be impatient. Once the first wave is over, before the second wave starts, there will be a brief moment. We can attack together to slay Long Chen. Di Feng sent a message to the others they nodded and spread out, surrounding Long Chen. This thunder force wasn't able to cause too much damage to them, because they were also heavenly geniuses. They had also been tempered by divine lightning during their tribulations, so they possessed some resistance. Zither Fairy. Long Chen is a slaughterer who is currently killing innocent people without the slightest mercy. Are you going to watch on the side as they are murdered? The unfettered Alsir suddenly turned to Zi Yan. Everyone's attention immediately turned to Zi Yan. Hu Jinying and the others' hearts clenched in this kind of situation. Perhaps only Zi Yan possessed the power to get Long Chen killed. As long as she wished it, she could use her zither music to affect Long Chen, strengthening his heart devil and getting him killed. The old man narrowed his eyes. As long as Zi Yan made any move, he wouldn't care about any consequences. He wouldn't allow anyone to harm his child however. Zi Yan merely smiled and shook her head. Innocent? Actually, I'm also innocent. But no one helped me. Zi Yan's smile was bitter and contained a mocking feeling. Actually, she had left out the final bit. In the end, the only one that had extended a helping hand had been Long Chen in the Yun Yang world. She had been affected by Grand Elder Yan Nanshan's words and made an agreement with the Seven String C suppressing Zither to suppress her power and make her an ordinary rank 9 celestial. She had viewed the world from a different angle than that of the Zither Fairy as a result. As soon as her view changed, the beautiful world she had once seen became vile and despicable. Once people tore off the disguise they pretended to have around her, she saw the darkness and blood in the Yun Yang world. The people that had once been respectful to her and happily listened to her expound on the Tao turned to mock her. They had once treated her like a god, but now they raised their butcher's knives against her. Although she said the same words, instead of respect, she was met with derision she had suffered immensely in the Yun Yang world during this period, killing people out of greed, the strong devouring the weak. She had personally experienced them the worst was when she had saved someone only to have that person backstab her and try to kill her. After that, her heart had grown cold. The unexpected thing though was that the only one who came to help her was Long Chen. Her faded enemy now the unfettered Alsir wanted her to target Long Chen with the excuse of saving these innocent people? She felt it to be almost laughable. Seeing Zi Yan decline, the old man sighed with relief and turned back to Long Chen. He had a bitter smile. He glanced at the distant Hu Jinying and thought to himself that Long Chen truly had some abilities. As for himself, he was unable to handle even a single woman. Hu Jinying smiled, while Mo Nian rolled his eyes. He felt like he shouldn't have come today. He was given blows from every direction. This Zi Yan had also been seized. Fickle hearted men aren't reliable, don't you think so? Little sister Ling Shen? I feel like a person should focus only on one person whispered Mo Nian surprisingly. Yi Lingshan shook her head. I disagree. An outstanding man should be like a mountain others look up to. They should fight. They should strive. As for those without a single woman beside them, they aren't interesting. If others didn't want them, then there's definitely some problem with them. Focusing on one is just an excuse. Others look down on them. So focusing on one is their only choice. Damn. My heart. Mo Nian was embarrassed. Was there really such logic in this world? Furthermore, for it to come out of a woman's mouth left him speechless. He felt like Yi Lingshan had said it just to anger him. The unfettered Alsir's expression sank at Zi Yan's refusal, and he was about to speak when rumbling rang out. The buildings had finally reached their limit. Their formations crumbled, and the disciples within let out cries of despair as they were blown to bits. Long Chen, I'll make sure you have a miserable death today roared the unfettered Alsir. The deaths of these thousands of people put him on the spot because this plan had been made by him more rumbling rang out. The lightning in the sky suddenly began to weaken. Attack. This was the best time to kill Long Chen. True immortal Jiaoki led the charge, attacking together with Huo Lian, Zi Luo, 
Gui Can, Di Fang, and the Four Fate Princes. Chapter 1973. 1973 audio player This was the buffer room in the heavenly tribulations tempo. It was like a brief breather. Before gathering strength, people would usually take a deep breath. The heavens were the same. Once the first wave of the tribulation was over, the second wave would descend. But first there would be a brief moment of accumulating energy. True immortal Jayaoki and the others had been waiting for this brief moment. Long Chen's heavenly tribulation did have some benefits to them. When they had gone through their tribulations, divine lightning had only come down toward the end. There had been a limited time for them to use it to temper their bodies. Now they had another chance to temper their bodies. However, while true immortal Jayaoki and the others had been able to patiently wait for this moment, Heavenly Fate Island was not. Their buildings had been destroyed. Each one of those buildings was connected to cores and formations under the ground. Those were buildings that generations of people had poured their blood, sweat, and tears into building. They had already been nourished by the minerals beneath them for countless years and had given rise to their own spirits. They were very beneficial for the disciples when it came time to read the lines of fate. It was like a towering tree they had cultivated for years had been knocked down. Just how long would it take it to regrow? The four fate princes were red-eyed. How could they not be infuriated by the damage Long Chen was doing to their home? So while true immortal Jayaoki had been content to keep waiting, the four fate princes weren't. So true immortal Jayaoki and the others had to attack now to fight over their chance to kill Long Chen. Long Chen snorted at their attacks. A dragon's cry rang out, and a lightning portal appeared behind him. Roar shook the sky as giant lightning drakes flew out. They were the lightning fields drakes. In the past, Long Chen was unable to create a large channel due to his limited power. However, now he was using the surrounding energy of the tribulation lightning to create the largest possible channel. The lightning drake soared out, charging a true immortal Jayaoki and the others. These lightning drakes are many times stronger than back in the yin yang world. A cry rang out. Nine lightning drakes appeared, forcing back true immortal Jayaoki. Long Chen had no intention of further attacking though. The main thing was that he couldn't do anything even if he did. Don't be impatient. The good show will start later. According to reason, he should currently be condensing his astral space. However, this wild torrent of lightning hadn't caused his body to change at all. Perhaps the current strength of the lightning wasn't enough for him to condense his astral space. So he was waiting for stronger lightning. True immortal Jayaoki and the others had no time to try attacking again. Lightning condensed in the sky, and a group of humanoid figures descended from it. Ancient heroic spirits, the life star experts were stunned to see such existences appear. These figures had only appeared at the final moment of their tribulations, and they had ended up using up all their power to defeat them. The ancient heroic spirits were geniuses that had failed their own tribulations and been killed. The heavens had branded their techniques into themselves, summoning them for future tribulations. They were extremely powerful, and most life star experts that failed their tribulations died to them. An ordinary life star expert would normally only have one of them appear at the end. As for the geniuses that had been gathered here, the majority of them had encountered nine of the ancient heroic spirits at once. Nine was a peak. It had taken an intense battle for them to beat the ancient heroic spirits and complete their tribulations. That battle had been dangerous and difficult, but it was one of the battles they were proudest of. Now, that pride shattered as they looked up at the sky. At this moment, the sky was filled with ancient heroic spirits. What kind of monster is he? Who on earth would possess such a terrifying tribulation? How are you supposed to pass? The life star experts felt like they had gone crazy. Even the nether passage experts were stunned. The ancient heroic spirits flew down from the sky, their bodies wrapped in lightning. Other than that, they appeared no different from real people. There were men and women, but they were all young and powerful. All kinds of runes appeared in the sky as they used their magical arts and divine abilities. True immortal Jayaoki and the others were also drawn into fights with them. However, People were shocked by how powerful they were. True immortal Jayaoki's halberd danced, and he killed three of the ancient heroic spirits in an instant, transforming them into lightning runes. That made people sigh in admiration. 
he was worthy of being an expert that stood at the peak of all heavenly geniuses. For others, they needed to use all their power to beat the ancient heroic spirits. But true immortal Jayaoki slew three of them with a casual blow. True immortal Jayaoki and the others no longer had an opportunity to bother Long Chen. There were too many ancient heroic spirits. They covered heaven and earth, and the experts were surrounded. They could only slaughter the ancient heroic spirits. As for the lightning drakes, they also didn't bother with true immortal Jayaoki and the others any longer. They began crazily devouring the ancient heroic spirits. Many thanks, Brother Long. The lightning drakes cried out in delight. They were like starving beasts that had finally encountered meat. Last time, the dragon blood legion's tribulation hadn't been enough to satisfy them. As for Lai Long, it was devouring the ancient heroic spirits that approached Long Chen. Originally, the majority of the ancient heroic spirits had been charging at Long Chen. But after going through the lightning drakes, the number that reached him was much lower. Lai Long didn't need to expend much energy to devour them at all. The ancient heroic spirits were not actually alive. They were husks created by the tribulation. Ever since the start of the tribulation, Long Chen had yet to personally do anything. The only thing he had done was slap true immortal Jayaoki that one time. Then he had just been standing there. This is practically cheating people's jaws dropped. Who actually went through tribulation like this? No wonder Long Chen can control lightning tribulation. He actually has such a terrifying lightning beast. People now understood the rumors of Long Chen being able to control heavenly tribulation lightning. Before this, they had thought that those were simply exaggerated rumors. But now they witnessed it personally. Countless experts were crazy with envy. No wonder Long Chen dared to challenge the heavenly tribulation. With such a terrifying lightning houseboat. Then even if there was a flaw after a tribulation. He could use the houseboat to undergo a second tempering. That lightning beast was a priceless treasure. True immortal Jayaoki and the others were pleasantly surprised to find that after they killed the ancient heroic spirits, the latter would transform into lightning runes that would be absorbed by them. When they had gone through their tribulations, the thunder force hadn't been so pure. This bastard, he's been blessed by the heavens. No wonder he's so strong. Di Feng suddenly sent a message to true immortal Jayaoki, Huo Lian, Ziluo, Ji Yui Kan, and Yan Wei. Long Chen's lightning tribulation is very beneficial to us. He's been blessed by the heavens. Why don't we strip him of this luck by sharing his tribulation? Even Huo Lian could sense the thunder force cleansing the impurities in his new flame body. His flame energy was growing purer. Hence, all the others also agreed with Di Feng's proposal. Di Feng was quite crafty, and he intentionally left out the four fate princes. Di Feng and the others didn't care about the destruction of Heavenly Fate Island. They just wanted to kill Long Chen, and any benefits they could dredge up by doing so were a bonus. Before this, they had been worried that the four fate princes would be able to slay Long Chen on their own. But now it seemed that if they all didn't cooperate, just the four of them wouldn't be able to kill him. Di Feng's proposal quickly received replies of assent from the others. Only the four fate princes were still glaring at Long Chen, looking for a chance. The four fate princes were able to seamlessly work together, and they had profound combination tactics that made the ancient heroic spirits unable to even approach them. Brother Long, this is amazing. One of the lightning drakes shouted out in joy. They were now addicted to Long Chen's tribulation lightning. As they devoured more lightning, they grew larger and stronger. That also meant that they were capable of devouring even more of the ancient heroic spirits. Now, Lai Long didn't even need to join in. Lai Long shrank down and patiently coiled around Long Chen's body, watching as the nine lightning drakes shouted. It suddenly rubbed its head on Long Chen's face. Long Chen couldn't help scolding. It's enough for me to have bad language. You shouldn't learn it. Lai Long was growing more and more intelligent and it was actually scolding the lightning drakes as country bumpkins with no experience, making Long Chen speechless. Lai Long was actually mirroring his own words. It seemed it had been corrupted by him. Boom. The sky shook, and five colored lightning descended. One giant lightning beast after another came roaring down. This is, five colored peak lightning. This was the buffer room in the heavenly tribulations tempo. It was like a brief breather. 
Before gathering strength, people would usually take a deep breath. The heavens were the same once the first wave of the tribulation was over. The second wave would descend, but first there would be a brief moment of accumulating energy. True immortal Jayaoki and the others had been waiting for this brief moment Long Chen's heavenly tribulation did have some benefits to them. When they had gone through their tribulations, divine lightning had only come down toward the end. There had been a limited time for them to use it to temper their bodies. Now they had another chance to temper their bodies however. While true immortal Jayaoki and the others had been able to patiently wait for this moment, Heavenly Fate Island was not. Their buildings had been destroyed. Each one of those buildings was connected to cores and formations under the ground. Those were buildings that generations of people had poured their blood, sweat, and tears into building. They had already been nourished by the minerals beneath them for countless years and had given rise to their own spirits. They were very beneficial for the disciples when it came time to read the lines of fate it was like a towering tree they had cultivated for years had been knocked down. Just how long would it take it to regrow the four fate princes were red-eyed. How could they not be infuriated by the damage Long Chen was doing to their home so while true immortal Jayaoki had been content to keep waiting, the four fate princes weren't. So true immortal Jayaoki and the others had to attack now to fight over their chance to kill Long Chen. Long Chen snorted at their attacks. A dragon's cry rang out, and a lightning portal appeared behind him. Roar shook the sky as giant lightning drakes flew out. They were the lightning fields drakes in the past. Long Chen was unable to create a large channel due to his limited power. However, now he was using the surrounding energy of the tribulation lightning to create the largest possible channel the lightning drake soared out, charging a true immortal Jayaoki and the others. These lightning drakes are many times stronger than back in the yin yang world. A cry rang out. Nine lightning drakes appeared, forcing back true immortal Jayaoki. Long Chen had no intention of further attacking though. The main thing was that he couldn't do anything even if he did. Don't be impatient. The good show will start later. According to reason, he should currently be condensing his astral space. However, this wild torrent of lightning hadn't caused his body to change at all. Perhaps the current strength of the lightning wasn't enough for him to condense his astral space. So he was waiting for stronger lightning true immortal Jayaoki and the others had no time to try attacking again. Lightning condensed in the sky, and a group of humanoid figures descended from it. Ancient heroic spirits, the life star experts were stunned to see such existences appear. These figures had only appeared at the final moment of their tribulations, and they had ended up using up all their power to defeat them. The ancient heroic spirits were geniuses that had failed their own tribulations and been killed. The heavens had branded their techniques into themselves, summoning them for future tribulations. They were extremely powerful, and most life star experts that failed their tribulations died to them. An ordinary life star expert would normally only have one of them appear at the end. As for the geniuses that had been gathered here, the majority of them had encountered nine of the ancient heroic spirits at once. Nine was a peak. It had taken an intense battle for them to beat the ancient heroic spirits and complete their tribulations. That battle had been dangerous and difficult but it was one of the battles they were proudest of. Now, that pride shattered as they looked up at the sky at this moment. The sky was filled with ancient heroic spirits. What kind of monster is he? Who on earth would possess such a terrifying tribulation? How are you supposed to pass? The life star experts felt like they had gone crazy. Even the nether passage experts were stunned. The ancient heroic spirits flew down from the sky, their bodies wrapped in lightning. Other than that, they appeared no different from real people. There were men and women, but they were all young and powerful. All kinds of runes appeared in the sky as they used their magical arts and divine abilities. True immortal Jayaoki and the others were also drawn into fights with them. However, people were shocked by how powerful they were. True immortal Jayaoki's halberd danced, and he killed three of the ancient heroic spirits in an instant, transforming them into lightning runes that made people sigh in admiration. He was worthy of being an expert that stood at the peak of all heavenly geniuses for others. They needed to use all their power to beat the ancient heroic spirits. But true immortal Jayaoki slew three of them with a casual blow. True immortal Jayaoki and the others no longer had an opportunity to bother Long Chen. There were too many ancient heroic spirits. They covered heaven and earth, and the experts were surrounded. 
They could only slaughter the ancient heroic spirits for the lightning drakes. They also didn't bother with true immortal Jayaoki and the others any longer. They began crazily devouring the ancient heroic spirits. Many thanks, Brother Long. The lightning drakes cried out in delight. They were like starving beasts that had finally encountered meat. Last time, the dragon blood legion's tribulation hadn't been enough to satisfy them as for Lai Long. It was devouring the ancient heroic spirits that approached Long Chen. Originally, the majority of the ancient heroic spirits had been charging at Long Chen. But after going through the lightning drakes, the number that reached him was much lower. Lai Long didn't need to expend much energy to devour them at all. The ancient heroic spirits were not actually alive. They were husks created by the tribulation ever since the start of the tribulation. Long Chen had yet to personally do anything. The only thing he had done was slap true immortal Jayaoki that one time. Then he had just been standing there. This is practically cheating people's jaws dropped. Who actually went through tribulation like this? No wonder Long Chen can control lightning tribulation. He actually has such a terrifying lightning beast. People now understood the rumors of Long Chen being able to control heavenly tribulation lightning. Before this, they had thought that those were simply exaggerated rumors. But now they witnessed it personally countless experts were crazy with envy. No wonder Long Chen dared to challenge the heavenly tribulation. With such a terrifying lightning houseboat, then even if there was a flaw after a tribulation, he could use the houseboat to undergo a second tempering. That lightning beast was a priceless treasure true immortal Jayaoki and the others were pleasantly surprised to find that after they killed the ancient heroic spirits, the latter would transform into lightning runes that would be absorbed by them. When they had gone through their tribulations, the thunder force hadn't been so pure. This bastard. He's been blessed by the heavens. No wonder he's so strong. Di Feng suddenly sent a message to true immortal Jayaoki, Huo Lian, Ziluo, Ji Yui Kan, and Yan Wei. Long Chen's lightning tribulation is very beneficial to us. He's been blessed by the heavens. Why don't we strip him of this luck by sharing his tribulation? Even Huo Lian could sense the thunder force cleansing the impurities in his new flame body. His flame energy was growing purer. Hence, all the others also agreed with Di Feng's proposal. Di Feng was quite crafty, and he intentionally left out the four fate princes. Di Feng and the others didn't care about the destruction of Heavenly Fate Island. They just wanted to kill Long Chen, and any benefits they could dredge up by doing so were a bonus before this. They had been worried that the four fate princes would be able to slay Long Chen on their own, but now it seemed that if they all didn't cooperate, just the four of them wouldn't be able to kill him. Di Feng's proposal quickly received replies of assent from the others. Only the four fate princes were still glaring at Long Chen. Looking for a chance the four fate princes were able to seamlessly work together. And they had profound combination tactics that made the ancient heroic spirits unable to even approach them. Brother Long, this is amazing. One of the lightning drakes shouted out in joy. They were now addicted to Long Chen's tribulation lightning. As they devoured more lightning, they grew larger and stronger. That also meant that they were capable of devouring even more of the ancient heroic spirits. Now, Lai Long didn't even need to join in. Lai Long shrank down and patiently coiled around Long Chen's body, watching as the nine lightning drakes shouted. It suddenly rubbed its head on Long Chen's face. Long Chen couldn't help scolding. It's enough for me to have bad language. You shouldn't learn it. Lai Long was growing more and more intelligent and it was actually scolding the lightning drakes as country bumpkins with no experience, making Long Chen speechless. Lai Long was actually mirroring his own words. It seemed it had been corrupted by him. Boom the sky shook, and five colored lightning descended. One giant lightning beast after another came roaring down. This is five colored peak lightning. This kind of tribulation existed only in legends. However, back outside the eastern Xuan city, Countless experts had managed to witness this legendary lightning. At that time, it had been Yi King Kuang who had summoned his tribulation and been killed by Long Chen. At that time, Long Chen had provoked the heavens, inciting this five-colored lightning to descend. This kind of lightning could no longer be called heavenly tribulation. It was heavenly punishment. Heavenly tribulation was just a trial, but heavenly punishment was to kill. Long Chen has angered the heavens. 
This lightning tribulation, it's so powerful. Tu Kian Chang couldn't help clenching his fists upon seeing so many lightning beasts descending from the sky. Little brats, look well. See how Long Chen doesn't even blink in the face of the heaven's fury? Then look at yourselves. I hit you a few times with a stick, and you flee like rabbits. Aren't you all cowards? The old man shook his cane at Bao Buping and the others. HMPH, his tribulation will end in just a bit. But you come to find trouble with us all day long. Does bullying the little fellow make you seem strong? If you have the ability, then let's fight once we reach the Nether Passage realm as well, said Bao Buping. Little brat, good. So you dare to have a tough mouth. Then all of you, just wait, snorted the old man, reporting. It was just Bao Buping. It has nothing to do with us. The other disciples hastily raised their hands to express their innocence. So you don't even have the daring to have a tough mouth? You're even more cowardly. Just wait, shouted the old man. This time, all the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples wilted like flowers that had met a night's frost. Hu Jinying and the others shook their heads. If he acted so powerful, then his disciples would be living under his shadow. Just how would they grow? The way that the heaven-splitting battle sect raised its disciples was truly unique. The five-colored lightning beasts were still roaring in the sky, being in the phase of accumulating energy. At this moment, the four fate princes charged at Long Chen, but they were blocked by the lightning drakes. As for true immortal Jiaoki and the others, they were unfortunately one step slower. Before they could do anything else, the thousands of beasts in the sky roared and smashed down like meteorites. It was like a barrier had broken. This isn't five-colored peak lightning. That lightning contains different energy. Amongst the crowd, Hu Feng suddenly let out a shocked cry. Boom. The first lightning beast smashed into the heavenly fate platform. A large hole actually appeared, and countless cracks spread. The incomparably tough heavenly fate platform was actually unable to endure. One giant dragon turtle had appeared. It was a dirt yellow color, and when it opened its mouth, a giant earth-colored sphere shot at Long Chen. Long Chen finally had to move, dodging the attack. As a result, it shot past him, leaving a deep gorge on Heavenly Fate Island. This is, jaws dropped. This attack possessed the power to annihilate an ordinary Nether Passage expert of the first step. How could a soul transformation disciple attacking the Life Star Realm cause such a terrifying tribulation? The most shocking thing of all was that the Dragon Turtle actually used Earth energy. How can a lightning beast's attack contain the earth element's energy within it? That's impossible. People felt like they were going crazy. That earth element attack toppled their understanding of heavenly tribulation. This is five elements divine lightning. The divine lightning contains the energy of metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. They can be called lightning metal energy, lightning wood energy, etc. Their destructive power is truly shocking. Daoist Heavenly Feather suddenly spoke. However, none of those is the important point. Then what is the important point? Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled faintly but didn't reply. More and more lightning beasts descended, attacking Long Chen. There were various forms. Dragons, phoenixes, elephants, and even one in the form of a giant tree. That giant tree unleashed rays of divine light that were like swords. The lightning drakes roared and formed a giant barrier in front of Long Chen as they attacked these divine lightning beasts. However, while they had been capable of devouring the ancient heroic spirits easily, these divine lightning beasts were fighting back, so it was much more difficult to eat them. As they tore at the divine lightning beasts' bodies, they devoured their energy. They were shocked to find that as they devoured them, their own energy rapidly grew, killed them. The lightning drakes went wild with ecstasy. In their eyes, these divine lightning beasts had transformed into giant pieces of succulent meat that they couldn't resist. As for Lai Long, it was also forced to participate in the battle. These lightning beasts were also very beneficial to it as they were no longer little seeds. They might not be rich pieces of meat, but they were at least appetizers. Long Chen was protected behind them. The divine lightning beasts were unable to reach him. However, true immortal Jiaoki and the others were thrown into disorder. These divine lightning beasts possessed the power to kill Nether Passage experts, and there was an endless number of them. 
these experts were forced to focus on them. All of Heavenly Fate Island shook intensely. Their power was terrifying. The Earth Element Divine Lightning Beasts in particular caused immense damage to the Heavenly Fate platform. It looked like it might shatter at any moment. The unfettered Alsir's old face was twitching. Now he regretted things. He had brought a wolf to his house and couldn't chase it away. His face was green, but there was nothing he could do. Long Chen's tribulation was too terrifying. If he touched it, he would be sensed by the heavenly deos. Moreover, he wasn't a life star disciple. If a nether passage expert were to suddenly enter, it would be like throwing oil into a stove. He would definitely die. As for life star disciples, the only ones capable of enduring this terrifying tribulation were the ones that had already entered. Anyone else would die. Perhaps the only one capable of tipping the scales was Zi Yan. However, Zi Yan was still calmly watching. Unfettered Alsir had tried reaching out to her several times, but she hadn't responded. He even secretly invited Hu Feng to go, but Hu Feng responded with silence, angering him. He begged the heavens for help, but no help came. He begged the earth, but he got no response. Now that things had developed to this point, the only hope was for the four fate princes and the others to kill Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen isn't attacking. If he attacked them, he should be able to heavily injure them. Why isn't he doing anything? Whispered one of the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. They could see that true immortal Jayaoki and the others were finding it difficult to handle the divine lightning beasts. As for Long Chen, he was just standing there, with no intention of attacking. True immortal Jayaoki and the others hadn't gone all out yet, nor could they, as their trump cards would be exposed in front of Long Chen and the others. No one was so foolish as to do that. Some trump cards would be useless as long as their opponents knew about them. It was only when their opponents didn't know about them would the trump cards have the most effect. This difference was especially important at their level, when the difference between them was so little that the slightest bit could decide victory or defeat. Other than casually slapping true immortal Jayaoki's face, Long Chen hadn't attacked them. Others were unable to understand what he was thinking. You don't understand just how terrifying this lightning tribulation is. Long Chen has to preserve his peak state to handle the last phases of the tribulation, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. She actually answered that ordinary disciple. You mean, this isn't the final wave? Asked the disciple. Of course not. Even someone as powerful as Long Chen will only have a slim chance of surviving this tribulation. If Long Chen isn't attacking, it's because he doesn't dare to. Each bit of power can influence the final result. Long Chen won't waste his energy killing them. Besides, true immortal Jayaoki and the others are capable of leaving if they sense danger because the tribulation is locked onto Long Chen. As long as they flee its range, the tribulation won't bother them. As Empyreans, they are favored by the heavens. So ignoring whether or not Long Chen could kill them, if he tried, he would still end up dying to his own tribulation, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. People were shocked to hear this. Originally, they had felt that this would be the final wave. There had already been several waves, and the tribulation had already strengthened immensely. Did none of that matter? Master, Long Chen, Yi's Hikyu bit her lip. Foolish child, don't try to deceive yourself. Do you think if I said he could pass, he would pass? Just keep watching. Daoist Heavenly Feather held Yi's Hikyu's hand, shaking it. After an hour, a streak of lightning lit up in the sky. It followed the same path as the first streak of lightning that had marked the start of the tribulation. Now that it was lighting up again, it formed a giant lightning gate. A terrifying apocalyptic pressure descended. Now is the real start. Long Chen looked up and took a deep breath. Battle intent raged in his eyes as he looked at the lightning gate that was about the same size as all of Heavenly Fate Island. The lightning gate in the sky slowly opened. More and more lightning beasts descended from within, and they were clearly more numerous than before. However, there was a certain lightning mark on their heads. The senior generation was stunned by that sight. The divine mark of the heavenly deos. Long Chen has fully infuriated the heavenly deos. This mark represented the will of the world. When it appeared, it meant that the world was intent on annihilating someone. In other words, Long Chen could no longer exist within the heavenly deos. Boom. 
when the first lightning beast with that mark descended, one of the lightning drakes went to block it. However, it was actually sent flying. True Immortal Jayaoki and the other's expressions changed. True Immortal Jayaoki received one of their blows, resulting in him almost losing his grip on his halberd. What do we do? Without going all out, there's no way we can block them. If we do go all out, will we still be able to kill Long Chen after exposing our trump cards? Yan Wei sent a message to the others. We can't expose our trump cards. Killing Long Chen is more important. Let's leave. Sai Di Fang. Impossible. If we leave, Heavenly Fate Island will be destroyed by the tribulation raged one of the Fate Princes. Sorry, we just don't have the ability. If Long Chen learns our trump cards and is on guard, he might be able to get away. We have to save them to kill him. Everything else isn't important in comparison, said Di Fang. He was the first to leave. Boom. However, just at that moment, his expression changed. A dozen of the lightning beasts actually blocked him. Being attacked by so many, he coughed up blood despite his hasty block. Just as he was injured, a lightning sword shot over at the back of his head. Not good. The lightning has gone crazy. It no longer differentiates between people inside the tribulation Ziluo and the others' expressions changed. They were powerful Empyreans blessed by the heavens. Although the lightning beasts had previously been violent, they had still been gentle in comparison toward them. But now, they were shocked to find that the new lightning beasts no longer cared that they were Empyreans. The lightning beasts were fully intent on annihilating them. Run. If we still don't run, it'll be too late, shouted Huo Lian. He was finally afraid. Originally, they had relied on their status as Empyreans with great karmic luck to protect them from the heavenly deos. They should have been able to come and go as they wished. But now they found that they were wrong. If they still didn't leave, they might have to endure the entire lightning tribulation with Long Chen. Unfortunately for them, they were clearly one step too late. The gate in the sky was gigantic, and they were at the center. Hence, they were surrounded, joined together and charge, shouted Di Fang. The four fate princes were unwilling, but if Di Fang and the others refused to join in, just the four of them were unable to kill Long Chen. If Di Fang and the others left without them, they would be stuck here in Long Chen's tribulation and would be killed eventually. With no other choice, they followed Di Fang and the others, joining hands. They forcibly blasted a path through the lightning beasts. They quickly charged out of Heavenly Fate Island, but the lightning beasts continued to chase them. Get in, true immortal Jayaoki shouted, summoning his celestial horse and the Killing War chariot. They immediately jumped into the chariot, fleeing. The lightning beasts continued chasing, but at a certain range, they seemed to be pulled back by the lightning gate and were forced to stop. Seeing all that, People were unable to even make a sound. Just what kind of tribulation was it? For it to not even care about Empyreans? Weren't Empyreans supposed to be the favorites of the heavens? Was this how the heavens treated their favored sons? An Empyrean's tribulation was filled with life. But this tribulation was no trial. It was pure annihilation. Only once the tribulation stopped chasing them did true immortal Jayaoki stop the chariot. They all had unsightly expressions. After jumping in to kill Long Chen, they had been forced to flee miserably without even touching a hair on Long Chen's head. Well, it wasn't accurate to say they hadn't touched a hair on his head. At least true immortal Jayaoki had met the touch of Long Chen's hand with his face. True immortal Jayaoki, you were bragging so much before this. Tell me, does your face hurt now? Laughed Mo Nian. Before this, true immortal Jayaoki had said many arrogant words such as that he would personally cut off Long Chen's head. But now, other than being slapped, it seemed he hadn't even managed to touch him. Mo Nian, true immortal Jayaoki clenched his teeth furiously. What? You want to bite me? Asked Mo Nian disdainfully. Rumbling rang out. The endless lightning beasts were so powerful that even the drakes were unable to stop them. They were only able to devour a portion of them, but the majority managed to get past. Long Chen was finally forced to fight. He had the wild lightning soul battle spear in hand and his lightning wings on his back. With each strike of his spear, lightning beasts exploded. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is mighty. Seeing that Long Chen was so powerful once he fought personally, 
the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples cheered. Hundreds of lightning beasts were blown apart, transforming into runes. They also couldn't help glancing at true immortal Jayaoki and the others. These experts had been forced to flee in front of the lightning beasts, but Long Chen was able to easily slay them. The difference between the two groups was immense. What powerful lightning paragon arts, sighed one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's elders. It's not that his paragon arts are powerful, it's his thunder force. It comes from the same source as the tribulation lightning. He's fighting fire with fire. The will of the heavenly deos is contained within this lightning. While Empyreans like true immortal Jayaoki and the others don't have the bravery to go against the heavenly deos. That's why they fled, said Kujinying. True immortal Jayaoki, that idiot's arrogance knows no bounds. He actually calls himself true immortal. That just shows how ridiculous the Xuan beast's overconfidence in themselves has grown, sneered Mo Nian. The title of true immortal was given only to those who had reached the peak of cultivation. Furthermore, it was never self-given. It was something people bestowed upon them based on their accomplishments. For example, Daoist Heavenly Feather had taken the Ice Element's cultivation path to an entirely new level, so she was given such a name. As for true immortal Jayaoki, he was nothing. Although he was a genius, he hadn't actually made anything himself. His title was self-given, so Mo Nian had long since felt intense disgust for him. Hearing this, Hu Jinying actually smiled. In this world, true can be false and false can be true. As long as you say enough false things, people will believe them to be true. Mo Nian, tell me, if you encounter an idiot, what would you do? Just slap them to death, said Mo Nian. Yi Lingxian suppressed a chuckle. What? Did I say something wrong? demanded Mo Nian. My master posed the same question to Long Chen, but he gave a much better answer, said Yi Lingxian. What did he say? He said, if he encountered an idiot, he would praise everything they said and raise them into an even bigger idiot. Mo Nian suddenly understood. You mean that true immortal Jayaoki, or perhaps the entire Xuan beasts, are being groomed to have an overinflated sense of ego? Hu Jin Ying smiled and didn't reply. Her meaning was clear. The Xuan beasts were a group of idiots who had immense pride. If someone wanted to, it was easy to make their confidence inflate. However, it wasn't Long Chen who was doing that. As they were speaking, Long Chen continued to tear through the lightning beasts. Lai Long wildly absorbed the lightning runes, strengthening itself and passing on the energy to Long Chen. There were so many lightning runes filling the air that even the lightning drakes were benefiting from Long Chen's fight. That made them even more grateful toward him. Long Chen's own body was absorbing the lightning runes when he touched them. The 108,000 stars in his body began to activate, indicating that he was starting to condense an astral space. Stop absorbing it. Wait for the final wave. A voice rang out in Long Chen's mind, and he immediately stopped absorbing the lightning runes. However, he then realized that something was wrong. Evil Moon, was that you? asked Long Chen. Was what me? Evil Moon was startled by this sudden question. Long Chen's heart pounded. If it wasn't Evil Moon who had just spoken, then who was it? Just as he was distracted, a lightning sword pierced through his shoulder, causing a spurt of blood. Long Chen immediately stopped thinking about that voice. He had to focus on killing the lightning beasts. There was a giant lightning gate up in the sky, but there was also a lightning channel behind Long Chen connected to the lightning field. On the other side of the channel, there were countless lightning drakes crazily devouring the lightning runes that came through. These lightning drakes were smaller, and sometimes they would simply explode after eating a mouthful of the runes. They weren't strong enough to absorb such powerful thunder force. However, the stronger ones were devouring them and roaring with excitement. This was the greatest blessing of their lives. Up in the sky, the silver drake king was glaring at the channel. Wondering if Long Chen was conning him. Why was it that even at such a time, he hadn't called out to it? Last time, it had been rather embarrassing during the Dragonblood Legion's tribulation as it had come out ahead of time. Hence, it was waiting for Long Chen to call at this time. That would make it appear more kingly. However, even now, Long Chen wasn't calling it. The divine lightning runes coming out of the channel were extremely attractive to it. 
but now it felt it would be embarrassing to fight over those scraps. Even though Long Chen was killing the lightning beasts quickly, more and more of them came from the sky. Furthermore, they were getting progressively stronger. All of Heavenly Fate Island was shaking, and it wasn't long before the Heavenly Fate platform shattered. But that wasn't all. The ground was continuously sinking. Some of the metal lightning energy attacks were so powerful that they pierced giant holes into the island. If this continued, it really wouldn't be long before Heavenly Fate Island was destroyed. That made them think of what Long Chen had said. Long Chen had said that the Martial Heaven Continent would no longer have a Heavenly Fate Island. We can't let Long Chen finish his tribulation. We have to think of some way to disturb him, said the unfettered Alseer. If you want to disturb him, it's simple. Let me. A sinister true immortal Jayaoki suddenly thought of something. Long Chen. Take a look at this. An elder appeared in true immortal Jayaoki's hand. He was half unconscious and was being held by the throat. He was motionless, but there was a rainbow-colored mark on his forehead, with an aura showing that he was a powerful nether passage expert. This is, the aura of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Startled cries rang out. Just what was he doing? I'd advise you not to do anything stupid. Long Chen turned to look at true immortal Jayaoki. I see killing intent in his eyes. He knew what true immortal Jayaoki was about to do. Blood splattered as the elder's body fell to the ground without his head. His head was in true immortal Jayaoki's hand. As for the body that fell, it transformed into the true form of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. What did you say? I didn't hear it clearly. Something about doing something stupid. Mocked true immortal Jayaoki. True immortal Jayaoki waved his hand and dozens of people from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race appeared. With a swing of his halberd, blood mist filled the air. In truth, those people were just corpses. Their souls had already been extracted to learn their secrets. However, their corpses had still possessed the slightest bit of life. As true immortal Jayaoki hadn't had time to handle these corpses yet, he now took them out in front of Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> aren't you very arrogant? Then come at me. I only hunted down the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow races people because of you. So come at me. I have the killin' war chariot. And you can't catch me. You'll only be able to watch as I kill them. You are trash. Ha ha ha. True immortal Jayaoki suddenly took out a young woman. She was also from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. But she had a terrified expression. I was planning on raising this woman to have my children to see if I could give rise to an even stronger generation. But now I've changed ideas. I think I'll kill her and skin her slowly. You win. Long Chen took a deep breath. Haha. <laughs> Winning just like this? No. No. The good show is still coming. Don't be in a rush. I twang. True immortal Jayaoki's body shook. His vision flashed. And the woman in his hand vanished. That woman reappeared by Zi Yan's side, holding the seven string C suppressing zither. Zi Yan coldly stared at true immortal Jayaoki. I, Zi Yan, rarely curse people, but at this time I have no choice but to say that you are complete trash. Yi's Hikyu slowly released her sword. Mo Nian put away his bow, and Hu Feng's die once more began slowly spinning. Each one of them had killing intent in their eyes. Hu Jin Ying had a disdainful expression. The Xuan beasts had been raised into even bigger idiots by Pill Valley. Even the neutral camp's experts couldn't maintain their neutrality. You, true immortal Jayaoki was startled and enraged. He pointed his halberd at Zi Yan. But before he could say anything, Long Chen's voice rang out from within the lightning. True immortal Jayaoki, you win. I have no choice but to change my plans because of your foolishness. Long Chen suddenly flew toward the other side of Heavenly Fate Island. Not good. The unfettered Alseer's expression changed. He already knew what Long Chen was planning. As he moved, the tribulation followed him. The untouched parts of Heavenly Fate Island were torn asunder. Countless buildings lit up and attacked Long Chen. But regretfully, Heavenly Fate Island had always been a mysterious existence that no one had dared to provoke. So its defenses weren't very strong. Long Chen easily avoided those attacks and went straight for the main palace. The disciples within fled for their lives. There were over ten nether passage experts who bravely charged into the lightning tribulation to kill him. But as soon as they entered his tribulation, 
swords of divine lightning condensed, with even greater power, turning those nether passage experts into nothing more than dust. Long Chen charged into the palace. The lightning beasts tried to follow him, but the palace was too big. Thus, they began to crazily attack the palace. All the buildings in the surroundings were blown apart. The disciples that didn't have time to flee yet were killed. They hadn't expected Long Chen to be able to drag the tribulation over. It had to be known that other people were locked down within a certain region when they underwent tribulation. Long Chen's actions once more toppled their understanding of heavenly tribulation. In just a few seconds, the palace was destroyed. The lightning beasts continued chasing Long Chen, and anything in their way was blown apart. He led this army of lightning beasts throughout Heavenly Fate Island. As a result, the disciples cried for their fathers and mothers as they ran. Long Chen, you bastard, hurry and stop, roared the unfettered Alseer. But Long Chen ignored him. Very quickly, all of Heavenly Fate Island turned into ruins. I actually didn't find it. Long Chen was surprised. After going throughout the island, he hadn't found what he was looking for. He started another loop. The thunder force in the air was growing stronger and stronger. The lightning beasts had also grown mightier, and Heavenly Fate Island was now filled with holes. I understand. This fellow, he really is ruthless Mo Nian suddenly understood. What is he doing? Asked Ji Lingxian. Guess. Suddenly, the ground exploded. A giant underground altar appeared beneath one of the palaces. That altar had a giant cut appear in it from one of the lightning beasts attacks. And as a result, Brilliant divine light shone from the opening. Seeing that divine light, everyone let out startled cries. They realized what Long Chen was planning. Long Chen, you dare. The unfettered Alseer was finally afraid. That was the heaven and earth divine pool of heavenly fate island. It was their divine spring, a place where all their karmic luck was condensed. If it was destroyed, heavenly fate island would slowly fade away until it was no more. Not even a god would be able to save them. Years ago, back when the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect had been one of the three great heavenly sects along with the Zhuanshan Dao Sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, Long Chen had destroyed their divine pool, resulting in them silently vanishing from this world. That was one of the laws of the heavenly Deos, an irresistible power. Once their divine pool was destroyed, it represented that this sect's destiny had run out. The world would no longer accept their existence. Long Chen flew over but he had just approached it when a ray of sword chi slashed toward Long Chen. That terrifying sword chi annihilated any lightning beasts in its way. Long Chen immediately had a bad feeling. His lightning wings flapped, and he hastily retreated. That sword chi just barely missed him. He narrowly avoided being cut in two. Long Chen's heart shook. A middle-aged man in Daoist robes had appeared, holding a translucent sword. Things can end here today. I, Ji Wuming. Admit defeat. Ending our hostilities here will benefit everyone. That middle-aged man spoke coldly to Long Chen. He was actually able to ignore the heavenly tribulation. The appearance of this middle-aged man startled people. Just who was he? So the unfettered Alseer was actually just the deputy island master. He's the real master, said Li Xiangxuan with surprise. Heavenly Fate Island's Fate Princes were the only ones qualified to inherit the position of Island Master. Each Fate Prince had a deputy. One stayed inside, while one handled the outside affairs. It was the deputies who handled the business of Heavenly Fate Island and the outside world. While the true princes focused entirely on cultivation, they rarely set foot out of Heavenly Fate Island for their entire lives. As for this middle-aged man, he had launched a powerful attack that had almost killed Long Chen, and yet he still hadn't been sensed by the tribulation. That was extremely strange. This person possessed a bizarre aura, one that people found difficult to get a clear reading of. As for his weapon, it wasn't Heavenly Fate Island's classic ruler but a translucent sword. There were countless stars flickering within the sword. It was like the flow of the cosmos was contained within it. Looking at it would make someone feel like their mind was being drawn in. That's Heavenly Fate Island's core divine item, the Fantasy Star Sword. Yes, he has to be the real island master, said Ku Jinying gravely. Ji Wuming was staring coldly at Long Chen. Long Chen felt a strange but sharp aura lock onto him even through the tribulation. Long Chen sneered. 
Ending our hostilities here? Are you talking nonsense with me? I never provoked Heavenly Fate Island. It was Heavenly Fate Island who went against me time and time again. Even using despicable means against the people beside me. Isn't this current scene exactly what you wanted? And now you want to end things and you think you can scare me with a sword? Let me tell you. There is nothing that I, Long Chen, don't dare to do. Long Chen suddenly threw his lightning spear at the divine pool below him without any hesitation. Courting death, Ji Wuming was enraged, and a sharp sword Qi slashed out. At that moment, everyone clearly saw the stars flow within his sword, and a strange light tore through the void. Boom. Long Chen's lightning spear exploded, but Long Chen seemed to have expected that. Following his spear were his lightning wings. Ji Wuming followed up with another slash of his sword, shattering Long Chen's lightning wings through space. However, he wasn't the slightest bit happy after blocking Long Chen's two attacks. Instead, killing intent surged within him. It was only at this moment that he saw a lightning dragon charge into the divine pool. It exploded, causing the divine pool to crumble. Long Chen, I, Ji Wuming, swear that I will kill you. Ji Wuming's face twisted. The destruction of the Divine Pool signified that the root of their karmic luck was gone. Heavenly Fate Island really would vanish from this world. A layer of mist covered Ji Wuming's sword, and its brilliance rapidly dimmed. Clearly, the Fantasy Star Sword was linked to Heavenly Fate Island's karmic luck, and it was now damaged. As it dimmed, the clouds in the sky shook and immense pressure crashed down. Ji Wuming had no choice but to retreat. He vanished. Once Ji Wuming was gone, the tribulation returned to its normal state. At this time, people understood that the reason Ji Wuming was able to remain unnoticed by the Heavenly Deos was mostly because of the Fantasy Star Sword. With its power dropping, the tribulation had finally sensed him. Ji Wuming reappeared beside the unfettered Alseer. Both of their expressions were unsightly. They looked like they were already dead as Heavenly Fate Island had been destroyed. Even if its name could persist. It would just be a place, not a sect if any sect tried to establish itself under the name of Heavenly Fate Island, they would not receive the recognition of the Heavenly Deos. Without the world's karmic luck, they would be like rootless duckweeds. They would blow away with the slightest breeze. He, he really did it. How ruthless the people from Pill Valley, the ancient races, the corrupt path, the Schwen beasts, the ancient family alliance, the blood kill hall and the others all felt their hearts pounding wildly. Long Chen had actually caused the destruction of a sect with countless years of history. Heavenly Fate Island's disciples were crying. Their inheritance had been destroyed. They would be people without a home in the future. Long Chen, I swear I will make you regret your actions today. I'll make you live a life worse than death, roared Ji Wuming. Work hard, youngster. I, Long Chen, will await you. Long Chen snorted. His lightning wings reappeared. At the same time, he put away the lightning channel behind him. The nine lightning drakes vanished, and Lai Long also returned to him. A torrent of lightning beasts now charged toward him. What was he doing? Everyone was startled by this. This was the crucial moment of the tribulation. Why was he pulling back everything? I fulfilled my first promise. Starting today, the Martial Heaven Continent will no longer have a heavenly fate island. This floating island is now a masterless object. Now I'll fulfill my second promise. True immortal Jiaoki. Do you still remember what I said? Long Chen waved his lightning spear, forcing back the beasts. I told you not to do anything stupid, but you still did it. So you've won. Congratulations. You've managed to fully infuriate me. Now I'll send you a gift. Prepare yourself for it. Long Chen suddenly flew away at top speed. Seeing the direction he was going, the Xuan Beast's leader, Pen Wanli, shouted, Alert our people to scatter. He found that the direction in which Long Chen was going was the headquarters of the Xuan Beasts. If he still didn't understand what Long Chen was planning now, he would really be an idiot. The tribulation followed Long Chen, and the giant lightning gate stayed above his head the entire time. Everywhere he traveled was turned into ruined land. It seemed that the tribulation wouldn't rest until Long Chen was dead. True immortal Jiaoki was dumbfounded. Pen Wanli roared. I told you to send a message. Are you deaf? Yes. Yes. I'll do it right away. 
True immortal Jayaoki vaguely started to feel like he had caused a calamity. He sent a message. But in truth, the other experts of the Xuan beasts had already sent the warnings back. Quick, Pen Wanli transformed into the body of a giant Kunpang. He instantly vanished, hoping to be able to bring as many experts over as possible before Long Chen arrived. At the same time, he prayed that Long Chen's lightning tribulation would end soon. Hopefully, before he even arrived at the Xuan Beast's headquarters, Pen Wanli was the first to move, and true immortal Jiaoki followed with his Killin' War Chariot. Yu Ziaoyan, Zi Wentian, Di Long, Zhang Ziyang, Long Jun Kang, the unfettered Alseer, Ji Wuming, and the others were in hot pursuit. We should go too. That true immortal Jiaoki really is a genius. Long Chen was only going to use his tribulation to destroy Heavenly Fate Island, but he managed to change Long Chen's mind. That ability is admirable. Ku Jianying looked at the ruined Heavenly Fate Island. Countless experts began to chase Long Chen. They couldn't see him, but even from a great distance, they could see the Lightning Gate. They definitely wouldn't get lost. Long Chen flew for an hour, because he didn't kill any Lightning Beasts during this time. More and more of them were filling the sky. Eventually, he saw his target and smiled. Countless experts with bows in hand were waiting for him. He had reached the territory of the Xuan beasts. A hail of arrows tore through the air. As these arrows were made with the materials of divine items, even Nether Passage experts would be heavily injured if struck. Long Chen merely snorted, and he slashed Evil Moon. As a result, those arrows were blown apart. But Long Chen was forced back by their immense power. After all, there had been hundreds of divine arrows. That was enough to kill a Nether Passage expert of the second step. Long Chen's body suddenly shook. He transformed into 18 Long Chens that flew in every direction. The Xuan beasts were stunned by this sudden change. For a moment, they were unable to tell which one was the true body and which ones were lightning fakes. With no time, they began shooting arrows. The fake Long Chens exploded one by one, until finally, Evil Moon appeared, blowing apart the nearby arrows, exposing who the real one was. We've found the real one, the Xuan beasts shouted, but their expressions suddenly changed. Due to focusing entirely on Long Chen, they had forgotten about the tribulation. Run. However, it was too late. Lightning swords rained down from the sky, blowing them apart. Those experts were only at the peak of Life Star. The reason that they were so strong was entirely due to their special bows and arrows. Clearly, they were just cannon fodder the Xuan beasts had called to slow Long Chen down. Long Chen continued past them, spotting a giant stone mountain. There were many caves throughout this mountain. This was the Xuan beasts' headquarters. The Xuan beasts didn't understand how to build things. Punching open caves was their forte. Today. I'll destroy your bastard lair. Long Chen entered the large cave of the Stone Mountain. The Lightning Beasts followed. However, the cave was too small for them to fit. So they began to attack the mountain. That cave quickly collapsed. And following that, the entire mountain crumbled. Bastard. In the distance, the Xuan Beasts were dripping blood as they saw their headquarters being destroyed. Pen Wanli in particular was furious. Although he had managed to get here before Long Chen and ordered people to retreat, there were still many treasures within their headquarters that they hadn't had time to remove. Many ancient inheritances were carved into the stone walls and now, they were destroyed. Although their inheritances had copies in other places, it had been their ancestors who had made those carvings, and the will inside the carvings could not be replicated. Not only that, but some inheritance pools, blood totems, and other divine entities that could not be absorbed into spatial rings were now being destroyed. True immortal Jiaoki's expression was a bit unsightly. It was entirely because of his actions that Long Chen had come here to destroy the Xuan Beast's headquarters. The other experts began to show up, watching from a distance as the endless lightning beasts destroyed this place. They all gulped. Some of the traitors of the Martial Heaven Alliance were afraid now. Long Chen was ruthless and they were afraid of being targeted. Even a domineering existence like Heavenly Fate Island had been destroyed by Long Chen. In comparison, their sects could be crushed like ants. They regretted choosing a side so early. They should have continued watching. Now, they could only pray that Long Chen would be killed quickly, or they would have to be on edge for the rest of their days. 
How has the heavenly tribulation not ended yet? The Xuan beasts were all panicked. Why was it that Long Chen's tribulation was so long? In just a few minutes, the Xuan beasts' headquarters and the surrounding area were destroyed. Long Chen was slaying the lightning beasts with his spear, but even after such a long time, he didn't seem tired in the slightest. He's not human. He's a fucking monster. Seeing his appearance, other so-called geniuses felt despair. Long Chen was actually not the slightest bit tired during such a terrifying heavenly tribulation that could only be described as monstrous. As Long Chen killed the lightning beasts, Lai Long devoured their lightning runes. It was growing stronger and stronger. Long Chen was looking around in the sky. All of a sudden, he looked in a direction and charged over. Pen Wanli's expression changed. That direction was the gathering place of the Xuan beasts. Many Xuan beasts were there, and if Long Chen went over, there was no way they would be able to escape. Long Chen had just started moving when the world shook. The lightning beasts attacking Long Chen dissipated. However, a majestic divine pressure crashed down from the sky. The entire world became silent. People looked up in shock. That giant lightning gate in the sky had cracked, and a giant white claw was slowly climbing out of it. The gate was unable to endure its power and was breaking. What is that? Both friend and foe were stunned. Not only had Long Chen's tribulation not ended, but it seemed an even more terrifying entity was coming out. Boom. Finally, the lightning gate shattered, and a giant head appeared in the sky. It was actually a dragon head. It looked at Long Chen without the slightest emotion. The sky continued to crumble. The dragon pressure coming from it caused the experts from the Xuan beasts and the ancient races to cower. They were pale with terror. The dragon was the emperor of all beasts. That dragon pressure terrified any who were related to beasts. As expected, it's a dragonization tribulation Daoist Heavenly Feather muttered to herself. Dragonization tribulation? The tribulation of the dragon race? How could it descend upon a human? Hu Jinying was shocked. Unclear. Perhaps only Long Chen knows. Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head. When Long Chen's tribulation had just started, she had seen some clues but hadn't been sure. But now she knew that she had been right. Even Yu Ziaoyan and the others were dumbfounded. How could a human encounter a legendary dragonization tribulation? Wasn't that a tribulation specifically prepared for the dragon race? Another white dragon crawled out of the sky. Then another and another. The world shook. Nine white dragons appeared in the sky. All looking emotionlessly at Long Chen. A destructive aura filled the world. If it was anyone else. Just the divine pressure crashing down from the sky would be enough to kill them. The distant experts were silent. They could only stare in silence at those nine dragons. This is a bit big. Even the old man gulped. This heavenly tribulation was killer. Whoever tried to interfere would definitely die. There was no way to save Long Chen. Long Chen, you're definitely dead today. This dragonization tribulation is impossible for you idiot. One of the Xuan Beast's experts had shouted to disturb Long Chen, but he had just spoken when the surrounding experts cursed him and fled. That expert who had tried to disturb Long Chen was struck by a bolt of lightning. Not only did he die, but dozens of people who had been the closest to him and hadn't had time to run were killed as well. The dragonization tribulation was for the dragon race. While the dragon race was the proudest divine beast in this world, even their tribulations contained their divine might. They could not be blasphemed. For someone to disturb Long Chen's tribulation now was an insult to the dragon race. So they were destroyed by the dragonization tribulation. Following that fearless expert's death, the nine white dragons began to revolve, forming a giant ring in the sky. Lightning swords rained down. Boom. Long Chen's spear and wings exploded. They were actually unable to resist this lightning that contained the power of the dragon race. It's useless. This is no ordinary divine lightning. It's the dragon race's tribulation lightning that has killed countless experts of the dragon race. Your little bit of divine lightning is unable to compete with it. Said Evil Moon. How did I end up in a dragonization tribulation? Is it related to the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale? Asked Long Chen. He was solemn. Yes. This is karma. Since your fate has been changed by the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale, you have to endure the karma that it brings you. 
This dragonization tribulation should be the tribulation that the owner of the reverse scale underwent when its scale shed, said Evil Moon. Now you should understand. Something casual that you might not even notice can bring you karma that must be accounted for during your tribulation. Long Chen could only switch to fighting with his bare hands. He smashed apart one of the lightning swords, but his fist split open and bled. As more lightning swords rained down, he became covered in blood. At the same time, the thunder force surged within his body, and his dragon blood seemed to be awakened. Long Chen continued to fight with his fists. His hands were being turned into masses of flesh. What is senior apprentice brother Long Chen doing? Why isn't he using a weapon? The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples didn't understand. He's our number one expert. This is a real domineering display. He doesn't even want to use a weapon against the strongest tribulation exclaimed one disciple worshipfully, thinking that Long Chen was doing it on purpose. However, quite a few experts had noticed something else. There was a vague dragon cry each time Long Chen's fists met the lightning swords. Perhaps this was his only way to resist the dragonization tribulation. Long Chen was going all out, but he was still covered in wounds. His appearance was very frightening. Yi's Hikyu, Yi Lingxian, and the other's hearts clenched. It seemed that this would be the final wave of the tribulation and would also be what decided Long Chen's life or death. Lai Long tried charging out several times, only to be destroyed by the lightning swords. It could not resist their power. Helplessly, it could only hide within Long Chen's body and absorb the thunder force coming in. As more lightning runes poured into Long Chen's body, his 108,000 stars began to spin, automatically absorbing the thunder force to strengthen themselves. It seems my life star realm involves condensing 108,000 astral spaces. Although he had been prepared for this, seeing his 108,000 stars transform still shocked him. At the same time, he sensed his dragon blood being cleansed and undergoing some kind of transformation. As his body was torn open, it was healed. After being repaired, it was even tougher and stronger. Could it be that only after going through the dragonization tribulation can I use the Azure Dragon's power? Long Chen suddenly seemed to understand something. As the lightning descended, Long Chen continued to block with his fists. There were so many lightning swords that he had to be cautious to avoid being struck in his vitals, or he might be killed. If he couldn't avoid the lightning sword, he would have to block it head on resulting in him being surrounded by broken lightning. He absorbed that lightning, and as he did, his 108,000 stars began to grow stronger. Originally, these 108,000 stars were the acupuncture points in his meridians. Each of those acupuncture points had become their own danshan, helping him store his spiritual yuan. In the Jade Core Realm, they had condensed into their star-like form. Now, they were once more starting to transform. As for the primal chaos space in his danshan, it didn't budge at all, as if the tribulation had nothing to do with it. The space behind it didn't change. The 108,000 stars had originally looked to only be fist-sized in his mind's eye. Now they were rapidly growing. As they grew, they seemed to possess their own life, forming a resonance with his soul. The energy of his Yuan spirit was being sucked away by them as they grew. The life star was a star of life. It required his chi, his soul, and his essence to create a world all his own. However, Long Chen wasn't condensing two life star beads like others. His body was transforming without him controlling anything as he absorbed the tribulation lightning. All he needed to do was make sure he wasn't killed by the lightning. He looked to be in desperate straits with his flesh constantly being torn asunder, but his physical body was rapidly growing stronger. His astral spaces grew larger and larger. However, when they reached a size of 25,000 miles, their growth slowed down. What's going on? Long Chen was startled. Even the weakest dragon blood warrior had condensed an astral space of over a hundred thousand miles. As for Gu Yang and the other captains, their astral spaces were over 300,000 miles wide. For the growth of his astral spaces to slow down so much meant that he was quickly reaching their limit but he hadn't even reached 30,000 miles. His astral spaces slowly grew, until finally, they reached an absolute limit just before 30,000 miles. Divine light flowed across them, making them seem to possess their own life. 
I've reached the limit already. Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed by his astral spaces. This was a far cry from what he had expected. However, when he thought about it, others only had one astral space, while he had 108,000 of them. Once his astral spaces had fully formed, he was no longer able to absorb as much lightning. There was a great surplus, so he told Lai Long to absorb it all. At the same time, his lightning spear reappeared. This time, it shattered a dozen lightning swords before crumbling. He resummoned his spear again. As Lai Long absorbed more lightning, it grew stronger, and the wild lightning soul battle spear that he condensed also grew stronger. His wings also appeared behind him. He no longer fought with his hands. With each attack, he blew apart the lightning swords, which transformed into lightning runes that he absorbed. Long Chen's managed to survive. Yi's Hikyu and the others were delighted as Long Chen no longer looked to be in desperate straits. He seemed to once more be in control. They relaxed slightly. As for those who wished for him to die, their expressions grew ugly. However, no one dared to try to disturb Long Chen, because anyone who tried to do that would be killed by the tribulation. After all, that was not a tribulation of the human race. It didn't care about whether someone was an Empyrean or not. Suddenly, Long Chen's astral spaces shook once more. A strange fluctuation came from them. My astral spaces have formed. Next is to connect to them with my soul. Only once the connection is perfected can I control their energy. But the tribulation isn't letting up. Long Chen had a thought. Forming hand seals. He condensed a giant spatial channel behind him. Come. The feast is ready. Whether or not you can eat it all depends on your appetite called out Long Chen. The world rumbled as a giant silver drake flew out of the channel. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. You didn't forget me. The silver drake king laughed. The lightning swords exploded on contact with its scales and then were absorbed. As it absorbed the lightning, its aura grew stronger and stronger. Clearly, this divine lightning was excellent nourishment for it. Help me hold it back for a while. Long Chen sent a message to the drake king. He sat down in the sky, directly entering a meditative state. Lai Long immediately flew out of Long Chen's body, wrapping around him both protecting him and absorbing the lightning. The Drake King didn't tarry. It also formed a giant coil around Long Chen and Lai Long to protect them. The experts present were all stunned. One of the Xuan beasts was cursing repeatedly at this move which was practically cheating. However, even as he cursed, he didn't dare to back his voice up with his spiritual Yuan. Afraid of being sensed by the tribulation. Zi Wentiang was startled in particular because he sensed that the Silver Drake King was much stronger than the one that had blocked him before. If it had possessed its current power, he wouldn't have been able to block it so easily. What he didn't know was that at the time, Long Chen's power had been limited, and the spatial channel he had condensed wasn't stable enough, resulting in the Drake King only being able to send over a split body. It could be said that Long Chen had already advanced to the Life Star Realm and he was using the energy of the surrounding tribulation energy to condense the channel. This time, the Drake King was able to come with its true body. With the Drake King protecting him, no one could do anything to Long Chen. They could only watch as he cheated. Long Chen was currently using the energy of his Yuan spirit to connect with his 108,000 stars. His life star realm was different from other people's, so he had to figure out how to control his astral spaces himself. His astral spaces were currently like babies, and he was nourishing them with the energy of his Yuan spirit. Now Long Chen understood why his Yuan spirit had to be so powerful. This was one of the requirements of the nine-star hegemon body art. Without such a powerful Yuan spirit, there was no way to nourish so many astral spaces. He had condensed a supreme Yuan spirit from 1 billion and 80 million primordial runes. Now its use was revealed 108,000 threads grew out from his Yuan spirit, connecting to his astral spaces. The energy of his Yuan spirit reached out into the core of his astral spaces, forming a star core. Once the star core was formed, he was delighted to find that he was filled with unprecedented energy. This was his world energy. Just at this moment, Long Chen's heart shook. He was called out by Lai Long, and he hastily opened his eyes. He saw that up in the sky, the Drake King was roaring, with endless lightning filling the sky. Long Chen, 
Hurry and retreat into the dragon field. I can't hold on any longer. This is no heavenly tribulation but heavenly punishment. It's fundamentally not something you can endure roared the Drake King. Although Long Chen had felt that it had just taken a moment for him to connect to his astral spaces, it had actually been over two hours. The tribulation had grown stronger and stronger, and while the Drake King had been crazily absorbing the lightning at the beginning, after an hour, it had started to find it taxing. It had been forced to shrink its protective area. It felt bad that it had been called for such a feast and wasn't able to help enough. So it worked hard to protect Long Chen. But a few minutes ago, the lightning had gone berserk. The nine lightning dragons in the sky had actually started to merge into one. The Drake King had immediately had a bad feeling and charged into the clouds. But it was unable to stop the merger. The lightning dragons were condensed from the laws of heaven and earth. And it was growing more and more difficult to stop them. It wouldn't be long before the Drake King was no longer able to stop it. That's fine. Let it come. I'm prepared Long Chen took a deep breath. He knew that this lightning tribulation was different from his past tribulations. He needed to fully activate the Azure Dragon Essence Blood and block the end himself. For the Drake King to buy him this time, he was already very satisfied. Boom. Finally, the Drake King was unable to endure. The nine lightning dragons merged and the Drake King was knocked back. Now there was one giant white dragon. Long Chen's pupils shrank. That giant dragon was the same dragon he had seen in his mind when he had absorbed the Azure Dragon Essence blood. Even its aura was identical. The Azure Dragon roared, and a huge claw smashed down at Long Chen. Its speed was astonishing. By the time everyone realized it was attacking, the claw had already smashed into Long Chen's body. The earth exploded and a powerful shockwave spread that caused everyone's expressions to change. They were forced to hastily retreat. With one claw, a giant hole had appeared in the ground. Long Chen's figure had vanished. He died. This attack had practically been a heaven-destroying, earth-shattering attack. It was also an unavoidable strike. This attack had not just contained terrifying power but also a kind of law. That claw would strike no matter what. Long Chen. Yi's Hikyu stepped forward, her eyes reddening, but she was stopped by Daoist Heavenly Feather. Foolish girl, Long Chen's aura is still present. Only now did people realize that Long Chen's aura was still there. However, it was now incredibly weak. It seemed that he had been heavily injured. The Silver Drake King roared, about to charge at the Lightning Azure Dragon. It's mine. However, a cold voice rang out from the ground. That voice contained an indomitable will that stunned the Drake King. The Dragon Claw actually began to shudder and slowly rise out of the ground. As it rose, people saw a black blade holding it back, and Long Chen's figure revealed itself once more. What people were unable to believe their eyes. Long Chen had actually survived that terrifying attack? Although there was blood leaking from the corner of his mouth, it didn't actually seem like he was heavily injured. Evil Moon was unleashing black light that forced back the Dragon Claw. The ground continuously rumbled. Long Chen eventually stepped into the sky, forcing back the Azure Dragon one step at a time. How is that possible? This scene was unbelievable to all those that were witnessing it. Long Chen was like an ant in front of the Azure Dragon, but this ant was continuously forcing back the Azure Dragon. Finally, Long Chen and the Azure Dragon both retreated. Long Chen looked at his giant opponent and cupped his fists. Thank you. Thank you for giving me another chance. This time, I won't be defeated. Long Chen knew that this Azure Dragon was the result of the karma of the Heavenly Deos. It was not truly the Azure Dragon whose scale he now possessed. However, last time, he hadn't managed to subdue the Azure Dragon reverse scale. Although he had obtained the Essence Blood, he hadn't managed to suppress its will. Perhaps that was the true reason why he had yet to fully control the Azure Dragon Essence Blood. For this Azure Dragon to appear now, it was another chance for him. The Azure Dragon's reply was a sharp claw that was even fiercer than the last attack. It didn't give Long Chen any time to rest. This time, Long Chen managed to block it. Evil Moon unleashed a ray of light that actually sliced through the claw. Now Long Chen took the initiative to attack. He followed up with another slash and a giant saber image appeared. Long Chen was using the seventh form of Split the Heavens. Boom.
the Azure Dragon blocked Long Chen's attack, the saber image exploded, but the Azure Dragon's body shrank, a portion of it crumbling into runes. Long Chen was like a madman as he fought the Azure Dragon, going all out. After several exchanges, he was coughing up blood, but more and more of the Azure Dragon was transforming into runes that left its body and were devoured by Lai Long. Don't fight it head on. Your cultivation advancement is causing your confidence to inflate. You can fight with technique to beat it, said Evil Moon. No, I can only fight it directly. Last time, I failed to subdue the Azure Dragon reverse scale. This time, I will use my will to subdue it, or it will leave a flaw on my Dao heart, said Long Chen. Who the fuck cares about some flaw? If you keep fighting like this, you might die, raged Evil Moon. You don't understand. My cultivation technique is special. I know it's stupid, but it's the only way. Long Chen clenched his teeth and continued to fight like a madman. He also didn't want to fight this way, but the pride within his soul was making him win back his lost face. He didn't know if this was the influence of the Pill Sovereign's will, but he knew that if he didn't defeat this Azure Dragon, his Dao heart would be gravely affected. Long Chen's right hand broke. The immense divine pressure inhibited his recovery abilities, so he switched to holding Evil Moon with his left hand, continuing to attack crazily. The huge body of the Azure Dragon was constantly shrinking, but Long Chen's aura grew ever weaker. In front of this Azure Dragon, he knew that the only thing he could do was use his will to suppress his opponent. If his will was suppressed, he would definitely die. He could see the only opening within this tribulation. Spiritual Yuan? not important. The power of his stars? Also not important. Even the power of his Yuan spirit wasn't the key. It was his will. The power of this Azure Dragon had already far surpassed the limits of what he could handle. Even a third step Nether Passage expert would definitely die to it. The reason why he was able to fight was because he was using his will to suppress it. If he switched to relying on technique, it would be saying he was afraid of fighting it head on, and his will would loosen. Without his will suppressing it, its power would crush him. Evil Moon didn't understand that, and this kind of thing wasn't something that could be explained with words. Long Chen's aura was dropping. He was running out of spiritual yuan, and without the protection of his spiritual yuan, his bones were broken. When his hands were both broken and there was no time to heal, he bit onto Evil Moon and continued to swing it. Finally, Evil Moon slashed into the Azure Dragon's head and the Azure Dragon exploded into lightning runes. It's over. Long Chen stared blankly. The tribulation clouds had already faded without him noticing it. Not good. Long Chen, I have to leave. The Silver Drake King was in the midst of devouring those lightning runes when it let out a startled cry. The spatial channel that Long Chen had condensed was rapidly shrinking. That was its root. If the spatial channel was closed, it would lose its connection to its source. It would then quickly wither and be devoured by the laws of the Martial Heaven continent. It had no more time to devour lightning runes and snuck back into the spatial channel. But right before it vanished, it opened its mouth and sucked up as many lightning runes as it could. Just at this moment, a diagram covered the sky, enveloping Long Chen. It's the Brahma Divine Diagram. Pu Jin Ying and the others' expressions changed. This wily old fox Yu Ziaoyan had actually stealthily activated the Brahma Divine Diagram. He launched an attack as soon as the tribulation ended. However, the light unleashed by the Brahma Divine Diagram possessed no offensive power. It only enveloped Long Chen, so not even he noticed it. The old man attacked, swinging the heaven-splitting blade. However, a giant furnace appeared, blocking his blade. It was Pill Valley's other core divine item. The Daynight Furnace. Yu Ziaoyan had actually brought both core divine items. All Life Star Disciples. Hear my orders. Enter the Divine Diagram and capture Long Chen alive. Shouted Yu Ziaoyan. True Immortal Jiaoki. Zi Luo. Huo Liyan. Di Fang. Ji Yu I Can. Yan Wei. And the other experts charged into the Brahma Divine Diagram. The Brahma Divine Diagram had its own space within it. The light of the diagram was like an extension of it, trapping Long Chen. Since he was like a bird stuck in a cage, Yu Ziaoyan had decided to capture him alive. Seeing this tribulation, he wished to know Long Chen's secrets even more. Long Chen, 
Let's see where you run this time. True immortal Jiaoki smiled sinisterly. Although he couldn't kill Long Chen, tearing off a few limbs to vent was good as well. Attack. Hu Jinying raised her sword. All the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts rose, their auras rising. Brothers, kill. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen saved us in the past. This time, we'll save him. The disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance charged under Yi Lingxian's lead. The Brahma Divine Diagram possessed its own laws. That barrier of light was something only up to life star disciples could enter. So Yu Ziaoyan had Hu Oliyan and the others enter. The curious thing was that under normal circumstances, Yu Ziaoyan should have directly sucked Long Chen into the Brahma Divine Diagram, but he didn't. Just as Yi Lingxian was about to lead the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples into the barrier, Long Chen's voice rang out, Everyone, stay calm. I already said that all you need to do is bear witness to today's events. There's no need for you to fight. Is the Dragonblood Legion present? Boom. Suddenly, the sky exploded, and killing intent unfurled. Over 10,000 figures appeared at once. The Dragonblood Legion, shocked cries rang out. Everyone had been so focused on Long Chen that they had almost forgotten that Long Chen also had his number one legion. Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Yu Zifeng, Xia Chen, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Lu Ruian, and Cloud were all present. Behind them were the dragon blood warriors. They were wearing blood colored armor and wielding blood colored swords. Their eyes were icy, and they seemed like warriors from hell. They were unleashing a terrifying killing intent. They immediately charged into the Brahma Divine Diagram's barrier as well, surrounding Long Chen. Guo Ran shouted, The Dragonblood Legion is present. Those who wish to reincarnate should hurry on over.